Welcome, welcome. The music's restarted. Happy Thursday. Look, I've got most of my voice back, and it's good to see everybody. Welcome to the show. It is going to be a, it's going to be a build that people have been waiting for. So uh, it's going to be super, super epic. Uh, today, uh, we are going to be building inside of the Fantex N7, which you guys have been waiting for. Uh, and so we're going to be building as much as we can. Uh, and uh, we're also going to be playing some Star Trek Fleet Command, which... You know what, I, I was kind of surprised. I thought it was a different game, and then I came to find out it was a mobile game. So it's a game I've been trying to avoid because I thought I would get addicted to it, but I guess we're gonna we're gonna play it for two hours. So that's gonna be starting around A7, the NV7. Sorry, not the N7. Uh, the N7 is the name of the Mass Effect Special, Special Forces team. And so I feel like Fantex really missed a grand marketing opportunity to actually cause, to have it be, oh, it should be NV7. Did I, I called it wrong, didn't I? Hold on, let me fix that. I can't, I, dude, I've been, I've been, wow, I am, uh, I'm a little bit out of it, hold on. Yeah, it's in V7, guys, sorry, let me, let me fix, let me fix all that right now. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, uh, not the N7, the NV7. I've got Mass Effect on my mind, that's, that's the problem. I've always got Mass Effect, I meant to say NV7, not N7. NV7, let's fix it there. In V7, it's the autocorrect, guys. It's 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 getting me. Edit in V7. Is the is the is the uh, is the thumb wrong? I'm curious. Yeah, okay. At least I got the thumb right. All right, and I got the the tweet tweet right. Okay, good. So I, I got all the other stuff right, which is good. <laughs> um, anyway, we're going to be building uh, in the Fantex in V7, which should be super awesome. And I'm actually really excited. About it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would. I think that Fantex should have called it the N7. Um, and then uh, then we could do Mass Effect build and a Mass Effect build inside of it. But uh, anyone, welcome. Anyway, welcome to the show. Uh, really excited about uh, getting to do the build today. It should be a very, very fun build, fun stream. I always like any build, uh, any stream where we can actually do gaming at the same time. Also want to remind people, this PC right here, the 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 the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day build. This is your last chance to get in on this. Remember, don't forget we have this build. It's got a uh, 7900 XT in it. Uh, it's also got a uh, 7700, a Ryzen 7700 inside of it. Uh, this build is up for grabs uh, to one lucky subscriber, both on Discord or or over oh or over on Twitch. Uh, it's subscriber only in terms of uh, your chance to win. We're gonna be drawing the winner for that uh, next week. So if you wanna get in on that, uh, all you gotta do is be subscribed. If you have your free Amazon Prime sub, uh, you're basically entered to go and entered to win. Uh, if you subscribe on Discord, then it stacks. Uh, unfortunately, you need like a three week heads up for the YouTube side. So uh, that's, not, that's not actually ready to go quite yet. Um, and then, uh, but then lastly, uh, of course, if you wanna get extra interest, you can gift subs, uh, donate subs, all that sort of stuff, and that'll get you extra interest towards winning this PC. So anyway, this is up for grabs. You got two more days today and Saturday, and then uh, that is it uh, for uh, your chance to win this PC. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Tomorrow, huge. Yeah, PC is North America. Well, actually, that's not true. Here's how it works, Zimmo. Uh, I will ship the PC worldwide as long as worldwide you will pay for the customs and import and shipping. So it, uh, so that's the way it works. Uh, also, don't forget tomorrow morning is the launch of our one of our biggest videos yet. Uh, and we're gonna be giving away a 7900 XTX to anywhere, uh, to 7900 XTX for the first 24 hours. And we're also giving away an Origin PC. So that launches at 6 a.m. tomorrow. But for the first 24 hours, uh, you gotta go watch uh, and then you can enter to win a 7900 XTX, and that's happening tomorrow at 6 a.m. So we got a lot of giveaways happening over the next month uh, as we get ready for that, and that video launches tomorrow. So yeah, some cool stuff and all that fun stuff. So <clears throat> uh, it's not, so it, technically the thing is, is that what we do is if you are, I mean, we've, we've gotten around it before. So it's not technically a, I don't know, that's, we, we've done it before. So any surprises in store for April Fool's Day on Saturday? No. Uh, we decided after uh, looking at the whole thing, what I wanted to do for the April Fool's thing just wasn't going to work. Um, and so I just decided to kill that one. So we'll come up with it. We're actually going to do a month-long community thing for Father's Day. Uh, and we're looking at doing a, a collaboration with 
um, the folks over at Corsair. So that's what's going to actually happen. But I'm not going to do anything weird for April Fools. Even though I will be streaming on April Fools, but there's nothing interesting there. So we're going to give this PC away. That's not an April Fools thing. So uh, and somebody was asking about the lottery laws. It's dude. It's it's what I mean. Again. It, we have the lawyers figure that stuff out, but um, if you end up having an issue and you don't have to participate, uh, there's an opt-in, an opt-out. Oh, and there's also a free entry thing, so that's the other thing too, is that it, that works too. So anyway, that's what's going on there. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that uh, people want to know. Any other questions? Anything else that I can get going? But yeah, that's what's going on for uh, that's what's going on for the builds and all that sort of stuff. Uh, uh, need of temperance. Uh, there's all the rules are over on Discord. If you want to get on that, yep. I do have, I have the D30 uh, 120 fans. Yes, I do. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing that too. Yeah. Yeah, all the, yeah, all the, all the things are over on Discord. If you want to see how it is. Which, what happened to the Facebook? What's wrong with the Facebook page, Quintus? Is there something wrong with the Facebook page? Uh, because this is, it actually doesn't, it fits in a weird space because technically it's a, it's a, um, paid sweepstakes or something like that. I don't remember what it is, but yeah, it turned off. The Facebook page turned off or it did. Let me look real quick, just seeing what's going on there. But we have the lawyers who figure out all the rules. Hold on. So I gotta submit a code, I gotta get a code, I guess. Or maybe this will work, it's supposed to work. Okay, let me get the, didn't receive a code, text. Oh, never mind, it worked, okay, cool. I'm going to the Robitech page now. It looks like it's fine to me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, what says NV7? The first one says in the end, the second, the which one? Okay, I thought we fixed this. Okay, let me see what's going on here. It, I thought, I thought if it, let me fix it here on, on here. Oh, oh, there's two of them. Dang it. It's, it's tricking me. It's so complicated. Okay, now it's fixed. Let's fix it here. I'll fix it on Facebook. Oh, it says it's unable to connect. Oh, I see. Oh, weird. Okay, let me try this again. I don't know what, yeah, it says it's unable to connect. We're trying to, I'm trying to connect again, Quintus. Okay, it says it's streaming, so hopefully it's working now. Thanks for being patient, guys. We're uh, we're trying to we're trying to trying to get it all fixed. All right, now it's all fixed. Okay, all the titles should be fixed too. Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah. Okay. 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 Everybody's good now. Okay. Welcome everybody to the show. I am Justin Roby, and today we're going to be building in the NV7. It's not the N7. It's the NV7, and it should be NV7 everywhere. So we should be good. Uh, so I think I've covered it all. Uh, if you want to get in on this, this giveaway is happening. Uh, it's currently happening for sub. It's a sub only giveaway uh, for Discord subs and uh, and uh, Twitch subs. Uh, oh, and there, yeah. And so Discord subs and Twitch subs. If you want to get on that, there it is. And we got all that stuff too. Um, and well, let's get. You know what, uh, guys? Let's just get into the build and start having fun. But if you want to get in on that, all you got to do is be subscribed over on Twitch or subscribed over on Discord, and that gets you an entry. Or you can use your free Amazon. Uh, Prime subscription um, to get you in on that as well. Uh, and then if you want to get additional entries, all you got to do is gift subs. This is a $2,200 PC. Um, and did it die again? Quintus, I got I got nothing. There must be something going on with Facebook right now. There, Facebook's interesting, Quintus, um, because uh, they've been, uh, they've been, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Facebook gaming. They basically stopped partnership, and so it might be going away. So I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't know what's happening because I'm not doing anything. All you do is keep turning it on and off. So it says unable to connect. Yeah, 
it works and then it doesn't work. So I'm sorry, Quintus. Okay, let's talk about the parts we're putting inside of this though, guys, because we gotta make this build look as good as humanly possible. You know what I'm saying? It's gotta look pretty. It's gotta look very pretty. So we're gonna kick it off with this. Uh, this is the uh, NZXT N7 B650E. I chose this specifically because it's all white. It's gonna look great with the all white aesthetic. The whole thing that I'm trying to do is just to make it look as clean as absolutely possible. Um, for the CPU for this, we're gonna use the Ryzen 9 7900X. The other thing I really like about this board is this is one of the few boards that actually has three USB connections. So I don't know everything I've got to plug into this. So I just want to make sure I had all of the uh, all the stuff set up so it works and all that jazz. And still, it's still going to be an amazing gaming PC. Um, I need to get my X3Ds back. I haven't gotten them back, but uh, we have some other stuff, activations in Miami, so I will get them back. So we'll eventually put X3Ds, but honestly, I'm waiting for the 7800 X3D um, before I get too excited about that anyway. Um, let's see, RAM. Again, continuing with the white aesthetic, we're gonna use a Corsair Dominator RGB Platinum. Uh, this is 6,000 mega transfer, 32 gigs, so that just that, that nice ideal speed uh, for AMD. For our GPU, ugh, we're gonna keep it white and keep it beautiful. Honestly, <laughs> I, hey, what's up, Kevin? Honestly, I've been waiting for a, another, so I have some other white GPUs. Uh, Asus has been getting all of the love and I appreciate that they've sent me two of these 40, these white 4080s um, and, and they've been they've been to good use, but we I have asked for ones from MSI, Gigabyte sending me one, so we will start seeing more white GPUs coming through here. Um, I have Zotac as well, so, uh, but you know, given this is a white build, I had to use a white GPU, um, so the, uh, and it's not like anybody complains when I uh, end up using this beautiful, uh, this, this beautiful GPU. Um, for AIO, I know DJ was asking, hey, are you gonna use the new Fantex Glacier 2 V2? Um, I would love to, but it's black. Um, and they do not make a white version. Uh, the AIO is currently in testing. We've actually already tested it. Um, you know, hint, it's actually one of the best AIOs we've ever tested. Um, but in this case, we're actually gonna use um, the, uh, the Corsair H150i uh, LCD XT. So they're their newest one. We're just not gonna use their fans. We're gonna use the, T the D30 fans. Um, in this. Uh, continue with some car Corsair parts just for fun. We are going to use the uh, Corsair RM1000X shift. Um, I always like to see how shifts work with two-phase, uh, two-phase, um, sorry, with chamber builds. Um, and so this, this is a dual chamber build. It'd be fun to just see how this works. Um, and it's always fun. What's up, PC guy? It's good to see you. <laughs> I took a break from gaming PCs. This is so nice. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Well, welcome. Hey, wh who is, whoever Pretzel Rocks is, can we find out what that is? Because it's not me. Or is it playing the right song? Does it, is it, hold on, let me see if this is actually the name of the song. Sorry, Don, no. Can we, can we mute or ban or whatever Pretzel Rocks? I don't even know what that is. I've noticed that that, that, that it just started showing up. <clears throat> so anyway, we got that. And then lastly, we've got a couple extensions just to keep things clean. We're gonna use those nice, beautiful Asia Horse uh, white cable extensions. Uh, we've also got a 16-pin easy DIY, even though um, this does actually have a 16-pin, but we're not going to use it. <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's not mine. I don't even, I don't have any pretzel rock thing. So, <laughs> yeah, so can we just ban him? It's not me. And it's not something, it's not, it's, yeah, just, I don't know what it is. But just ban that person so it stops saying what song it's playing. I'm not on there. For, I don't have pretzel rock. I didn't. I never. I don't even know what that is. Can't I just ban it? I can just ban the channel. It says ban. Okay, well, I'll look at stream elements, but I don't know where it's coming from. Anyway, we banned it, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, so anyway, there, there's that. Uh, and then lastly, we've got, uh, we've got all the D30s. We got all sorts of D30s. We've got both the reversed and we have the regular. So they sent me a total of uh, 36912, 36912, three times four, yeah, 12. So I got 12 fans. 
uh, for the all the other fun stuff as well. So should go well, and we should be good to go there. So Sidri, yes, we'll actually have the D3. Yeah, we'll probably end up figuring out. We'll see how they do today, right? Because it's a it's a ludicrous amount of fans we're going to have in here. And then, of course, all of this inside of is inside of the brand new white NV7 from Fantech. So uh, I, if I can, should I here? I'll try and get it on the table at the same time so we can get that beautiful shot here. Oh, I forgot about the RAM and the storage. We do have RAM and storage. And by the way, the, the OS and everything is all set up. Uh, we've got three terabytes of Kingston Fury. Uh, sorry, I already talked about RAM, but we got three terabytes of Kingston Fury uh, NVMe storage as well. So, forgot about that. So there's our storage, and then we'll let's try and put the case up here because it's so big, and you need to have like that beauty shot of all of the of all the parts. Ugh. Yeah, and there's the case. Okay. Right. I guess I should put it on this side because it's like. There's room over here, so let's move it over here. There we go. There we go. There's your build. There it is right there. So there's your your build. There are more fans, but there is our there's our build for today. And we're all uh, we're all good to go. And we do have more fans. I'll put more fans on the other side so you guys can see all the fans and all the parts. We go. We'll make the fans as tall as the tower, just about. There you go. There's all our fans. Audio is very low. Is it low? Has anybody else said it's low? It looks boxy. It is very boxy. It's got a lot of places to hide cables, apparently. So. <laughs> I'm going to fit all these boxes in there because I have magical skills. Yeah. The music is loud. I can turn the music down a little bit more. There you go. <clears throat> all right, so anyway, we're gonna go build all this now. But now you've seen all the parts, and the build, and America. Ugh. And sorry about Tuesday, guys. We were supposed to do this on Tuesday. I apologize that it took us a day. I just couldn't, I, I, you can still hear probably a little bit. And my voice is a little, uh, a little wonky. So, <clears throat> okay, there we go. And we will be able to see how the cooling is and all that sort of stuff today. Um, so, because we do have a, uh, the NV7 is new. Yes, it's a brand new case. It just came out. I actually, I, and I think it launched, yeah, it like literally launched. And the reason reviews have been so slow is because uh, supply chain issues with uh, Fantech, so. Um, I think only myself, I think myself, Hardware Canucks, is, uh, a Jay had a review. I was supposed to be there day one, but I got, my voice wasn't going to have it. Um, so there's only like a, there's only a handful of us who actually have them. So. All right, let's get this built. Silver Panda, thank you for the resub. Hey, Roby, can you recommend a black AIO for a build I'm working on that has an LCD display? Um, I mean, uh, you're, are you, if you're just looking for a black, if you're just looking for a black AIO and, and you don't want to spend a bunch, um, the deep cool is great or the nucleus uh, would be awesome. Both of those are fantastic. Do you want it? Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah, another one. Yeah, there's, been, there's people who are rushing to get reviews out, but I, I mean, I'm just going to build in it and then we'll, we'll do the review live. Yeah, they, they did pre-orders for the cases. So getting them is not, it was not easy. Yeah, so it's like one of those things that I think it'll, it, I think it's gonna kind of be like the Fractal North where people are gonna be kind of mad for a while because they can't get a hold of the case. So, but I just wanna build it and see what it looks like. Yeah, PC guy, that's another one. The, X, the LCD XT is also another good one. But if you want something less expensive, the Deep Cool uh, LT720 or LS720 are less expensive. I would not do the Kraken. I would wait on the Kraken. Don't do the Kraken. If I was going to choose one, I would either do the 
Well, you can't do the vision because it's not out yet. Um, I would either do the the new one from I would do the one from Corsair or the uh, one from EVGA. Um, I, rumor is the Kraken is going to be there's going to be a new Kraken here pretty soon. That's the rumor. So I would wait. That the that that. That pump and stuff is pretty old, so I have a tendency to believe the rumor, so I would just hold off on getting the Kraken. Um, and, and if you really want it, I'd be patient. So, yeah, you want the second gen, whatever it is, and I, I'm guessing, I don't know when or whatever, but I know it's gonna be soon, I wouldn't be surprised. So that's my two cents. <clears throat> Guys, I'm excited to see how this build turns out. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this in here. I do not know. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead. And, whoa. Yeah, it's got some. Got a little beat up here. <clears throat> I do not know. We'll go ahead and do. Oh, I dropped the, dropped the audio thing. I'm not entirely sure how good the pop is on this, but for some reason I think it is. So we'll go ahead and do the vote. But if it's terrible, so just so you guys know, I think it's terrible. So you might, you, you're, you're, it's a long shot if uh, you think that the, uh, if you think that this is gonna clear the VRM. So we're gonna get the vote going. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's like, I don't wanna make it worse. Yeah, I think it is thermal paste. Let's get a little, I'm gonna get some isopropyl, turn up this little bit on the top here. Oh, it's not, guys, this, this, this has been used a number of times. I'm not, this board's not new. It's just, I think when it got, I think it got a little thermal paste on it. Makes it easy. Where am I? <clears throat> no, it's not a scratch. It's just thermal paste. Got most of it off. All right, cool. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this board put together. Did we do the vote? Did we do the? So Devrix, I like the Elgato. I use the XL. The I like the Elgato one. Uh, the other one is a lot of people like the um, uh, the. Uh, there's a number of ones. I just don't remember off the top of my head. So um, so no, I don't have a off the top of my head recommendation. The ones that I used to use was like super expensive. Um, but yeah. It's annoying. I hate it. I hate it when like something is not like quite 100% right, but okay. <clears throat> yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, the volume, the one, the new Steam Deck, the new Stream Deck. I have one, I just haven't plugged it in yet. All right, here we go. And then I also like their, their Wave one, what is it called? Their Wave XLR, I use that too. Hey, Sy Swan, thank you for the sub. Uh, Silver Panda, thank you for the sub. 20 months and 29 months. And I saw, I saw um, Tom at like 32 months or something ridiculous like that. Uh, ITX builds, um, not that I know of. I mean, honestly, ITX builds are kind of in a weird spot because, uh, I mean, if you're gonna use 40 series cards, unless we did like a 7900 XTX, um, but I don't have any currently planned. Yeah, lots of pretty builds planned. If you have any ideas for one, that'd be cool. Yeah, the Strix 4080 we're using is the white one. Hey, Eternal Rage dropping her 34-month streak. 
Wow. Got some big, big winners here. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna jump? No. That was that was so anticlimactic it wasn't even funny, guys. So I'm I'm hoping that not a lot of you guys bet on that. I, I was I was pretty sure it was gonna be terrible. So I was I was a little worried. I had a right to be worried. What's up, D Matt? How are you? I thought, I thought, I thought one of these, I thought one of these, there was a, there was one AMD board that actually did do a good job. I just don't remember what it was. But I remember one AMD board where it actually like would clear. But I thought maybe it was the, the N7s from uh, NZXT, but I guess I was wrong. Because normally I would not even do that on most AMD boards, they don't normally actually even do that um, prediction. You know? <clears throat> What's up, Crazy Key? How are you? So it doesn't look like a lot of people actually voted all that much. There was like, there was very, it was very, it was very high risk. I mean, there was a good chance you could have won a lot of money, but I don't know how many people would have voted against it. You know, I'm doing good. Just working on the build, checking out this new case. It's always fun. we go hey Igor dropping five gifted subs thank you Igor appreciate you guys and how much you su support us don't forget guys up for grabs is that PC oh also likes on YouTube how are we doing on likes on YouTube because that's the one that actually helps the most is 250 likes on YouTube okay so that's all in uh, let's do clicks it's dominator so let's go with 97 today we'll do 97 over on uh, we'll do 97 for the Ram and uh, we'll see how that does. Let's get our NVMe drives in. I don't actually think I need this. Thank you, Igor, appreciate you. We're gonna be playing Star Trek later, so just pop by later if you want to. Be good to see you. Yeah, we actually have a PC up for grabs. If you are a YouTube sub or a uh, Discord sub, you are entered to win. It's a sub only giveaway for the month of whatever month. It's eight March, yeah, for the month of March. Oh, really? Yeah, the Kraken's expensive, 299 bucks. Um, but so are, like a lot, of, a lot of the LCD ones are actually pretty pricey. This is one terabyte. Okay, that's the one I wanted. OEM for the board is ASRock. ASRock makes this board. SRT Balthazar, thank you very much. 29 months, man, that's huge. Lots of long-term subscribers here. See you later, Igor. Thank you very much, my man. Hopefully we'll see you later. Just throw up this one, <laughs> throw in. I don't, throw up, that doesn't sound right. Hype train started, wow. There we go, guys, hype train's up. Remember, if we get this $25 new gift card up for grabs, we gotta get, all we gotta do is get level five. Burner, nur, nur, nur. And you get entries towards winning that PC. So yeah, how can you, how's that a, that's a win-win right there. Does my voice, can you guys tell that my voice is, uh, I like looking at Bob Ross of PC making. Can you guys tell that my voice is still not 100%? Does it sound different? I'm curious. Okay, that's in. You're quieter today, okay. It's low. Okay, I wonder if it's just, I could turn it up. Yeah, we always play with those volume settings, so I can turn it up. Here we go. Uh, let me turn it up a little bit. 
Is that better? Is that better in terms of volume? How's that? that how, I turned it up even more. Is that better? Seems good to me. Hey, Rublife, thank you for the sub. The voice. Okay, I'll keep, I'll keep, here, let me keep, I'll keep adding. It does seem like the voice is low. How about that? Is that better? Is that, I put it up a little bit what, louder. <clears throat> Much better. Hey, Rublife, thank you for the five gifted subs, taking us to the next level. Yes! <clears throat> no distortion. Okay, as long as there's no distortion. As I don't want there to be distortion. Okay, good. Hey, 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 you guys want to be able to hear me now. I can see, he I, I can now hear you now. The sound is up. I can see all the PC parts in my way. <laughs> I don't know, I'm making up a song. It's amazing. The song I'm making up is amazing. Hey, what's up, Brian Tech? How are you, man? Apparently, I'm going to be on his... Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you for the thank you for the thank you for the info. Incoming wow, don't don't say that. We don't want to get to it. Hey, what's up, DePoets? It's good to see you too, man. DePoets go into like some sort of like magician camp or something like that. You went to like a magic castle and like did magic or something? I don't know. Subhunter resubscribing 23 months. Yeah, he went to a magic castle. Okay, guys, let's turn on the, uh, let's see what the audio does. We got the click audio. Hey, Roby, now that the, those D30 fans are finally out, are you adding those to the radiator fan selection test for Glacier 1 Gen 2 review alongside the T30s? Or do you plan on sucking? Stay so we'll, for the AIO review, we will not add D30s because that's not relevant. Um, we will, um, we'll, I'll try and do a f an, another, uh, maybe another video, but we've gone down to two videos a week. Um, and so I don't know if it'll, it'll, it'll ever make the review cycle. We'll have to see. Hey, Sink, how are you? Thank you for coming in here. Appreciate it. Because we're starting to make bigger, bigger, bigger videos. So the number of smaller videos we make is getting less because we're spending our focus on the big videos, like the video coming out tomorrow. Hey, d thank you for the sub. All right, here we go, guys. What's the volume going to be? Two minutes and 42 seconds, guys. We still got to get to level five. Okay, here we go. What did I say? 97? I don't remember. My mind is fog. I love, I love these. I love these, these Ram 6. 97. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pause the music. Ninety-seven point six on number one. Let's just say easily cleared. Thank you, Dominator. Dominating. What's up, Wolf Shadow? Dominating the charts with its clicky clicks. Next one, like easy. Here we go. Ninety-five, but it did get ninety-seven already, so we're good. We're good. It, it hit the it hit the number. It was good to go. It would satisfying clicks is true. Satisfying clicks is absolutely true. Those were some very satisfying clicks. I must agree. Okay, let's start the music again. They were they were nice clicks. I appreciated them very very much. <clears throat> Just as satisfying as you guys. Just as satisfying as you guys are being in my chat. I appreciate you guys being here today. You were over? Yeah, you were a little over. You were close, Quintus, though. It was close, 97.5. I mean, 97.6, yeah. Yeah, it seems, yeah, it does, it does seem like Corsair Ram has a tendency to do very, very well. Uh, no, it's you. I mean, it's not you. It, I don't know where they're, they're, it looks like alert sounds are on, which I don't actually know why they're on. I, don't, I think there's a way to mute them. Mute it. There we go. I muted the system sounds and the inbox sounds and the Microsoft team sounds. There we go. Okay, I muted those. 
Uh, Stylus Dubs, it's going okay. It's going okay. Um, waiting for my voice to 100% recover. I know a lot of people. I'm getting. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting in, uh, information from uh, folks at PAX that a lot of people ended up getting COVID. Um, I have not been one of them, which I'm very lucky about. Um, yeah, and then we're just getting ready for the very, 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 very big video release tomorrow, guys. Big video release tomorrow. In fact, your boy here will actually soon be on AMD's main website. So you guys, when you guys see this, so these are always big fun ones. And we have some other very, very cool, fun, big videos coming up too. Do you recommend a place to get thinner PSU cables and additional fan hubs? Uh, honestly, additional fan hubs I, I just get from Newegg. For thinner uh, PC cables, uh, you're gonna have to look at companies like Cable Mod. Um, or uh, you have to look at companies like uh, uh, main, uh, Mainframe Customs. Um, yeah. So there, that, hopefully that gives you an org drop in information too. Uh, do, I don't think we hit level five. No, we, we, I stopped paying attention, so I think we didn't get to level five. So we got to like level four. Yeah, the big one you're going to want to watch. In the first 24 hours, you can win a uh, Radeon RX 7900 XTX. So, okay, so that's in. I think I've got everything. I just got to put my uh, bracket on, guys. Bracket time. You guys are still awesome. I appreciate you, so no biggie. Where's all my brackets and stuff? Oh, this board does have possibilities. It's got all the possibilities. Okay, we need AM4 here. That's TR4. This looks like all Intel. Where's the AM4? Okay, here it is. There's the right adapter. I feel like I'm missing parts to this. That's TR4. I feel like there's usually additional stuff for these. I'm gonna look at something real quick because I feel like we're missing, I'm missing parts, but I'm gonna look. So we're gonna take a look at the instructions because I'm not afraid to look at the instructions. <clears throat> um, okay, I need downloads. There it is. Uh, quick start guide. Hopefully this quick start guide actually has the parts, the thing that I need in it. Intel, four Intel, four Intel, AMD, AM4 standoffs. Okay, so maybe they just go in. I'm just gonna look, cause maybe this is just, they've made this easier. Oh yeah, it really is just that, huh? Okay, never mind. I thought it was something more complicated, but I was wrong. They just made it easy. Okay, cool. Well then let's just do it the way that they want us to, which is what I'm doing. I thought that, uh, you, you know, most of them like have like this like overage thing um, that you have to do that like goes over the socket and the screw and this one doesn't do that. So it's, uh, it was like a little bit disconcerting when I'm like, oh, this is, this is a change, this is new. What do I do? I start panicking. Where is my, I'm looking for my wow stick. Oh, it's right here. I found the wow stick guys, don't panic. I was panicked briefly. Cooler's the H150 Elite, uh, Elite LCD XT. So. 
Mark, thank you very much for the resub. Guys, we are now, what, 35, 45, 50. We're 15 subs away from the $50 New A gift card now, which is cool. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is apparently all you gotta do now, because it only goes one way, is you just put these in, these posts, so they don't even go over it anymore. The Elite Capellix and XT are different, yes. One uses the uh, ML Elite 120s and the other one uses AF, one fan, the new AF fans. Uh, the Elite 120s are actually better fans and the, Elite, the Capellix actually is a better cooler too. No, I've actually used the LTT screwdriver finally. It's a nice screwdriver, but I like the wow stick and the iFixit better. Me, may I? No, I'm not. I use all the different parts and all the different stuff. I do what makes it look good. What's up, dude? The Drew, how are you, man? But thank you for thank you for thinking of me, Mihai. Making sure that you know that I, I should be concerned and that I may potentially get canceled by the uh, by the you can't use mixed brand haters. I'll be like, listen, guys, you need to get over yourselves. Roby's here to stay. He's here to build the builds the way he wants. You know what I'm saying? He's here to make his PC building dreams come true. I don't know why that means I have to sound like a angry New Yorker, but that's that's apparently what that's what happens. You become an angry New Yorker. Okay, good. Guys, this this uh this 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 motherboard's ready. All brands unite. Okay, um I don't need paper towels. I don't know why I still have paper towels out. I could probably close this too. Get this out of the way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the next phase called the case phase. Everybody say the case phase, because that's what's about to happen. We're about to open up and build this case, build in it, get it ready. Time to do some building. The case phase. It's the case phase, guys. So hopefully this case is so blooming big. The big case phase in this case. Oh, here it is. Oh, man. Okay, so this is... This is the Fantex NV7. Um, I mean, we got... Look at all the fans that you can put. I mean, you can put so much stuff on this thing. There's so much room for stuff. I hope that... I'm, I don't know if I, I'm hoping there's no things. Okay, so a couple things. Let's go to the side camera over here. I'm gonna have to move the side camera out because this is like crazy. Yeah, it's a tall case. It is. It's, like, it's not even fitting in this in my side camera here. Okay, here we go. So we'll go, we're gonna have to zoom out a little bit because it just barely fits in the side camera there. All right, so first thing is, is that the whole thing is like shrouded in mystery. Shrouded in mystery. Okay, this pops. Okay, so we got some, we got some tape here. Time to take off the tape, guys. This is what you do first. You untape it. And then we're ready for phase two, which is opening this up somehow. Oh, there we go. So that opens up. So this is all your access to everything. There's all of our, there's all of our manual. I think you can take, I think you can take this off. I think keeping this on right now would be annoying. It's kind of my two cents, like that's what I think. Like, so I, I'm wondering if I take it off because, so this is all the cable management. It's got like a rubber grommet down here too. You can make this go flat and all sorts of stuff like that. I don't know if keeping this thing on is a, is a good idea or not. Wow, this is quite the case, guys. Okay, so this unscrews, and this case is crazy. Okay, so there's that. Let's see, okay, so we got this. Let's, let's get this removed. Hey, Thunstruck, thank you very much for this, the uh, raid. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. Remember guys, I don't intentionally, I intentionally try to just figure this out on my own. I wonder if it looks like you do have All right, I'm gonna look at my uh, manual here. 
because I don't want to break the case. Wow, this is literally Velcro to the manual. Okay, so here's our manual, guys. NV7 manual. Okay, we're gonna look at how to remove the tempered glass. So we got RGB, and we got an airflow cover and an accessory. So this is just talking about accessories. To remove the side panel, open the rear, and then loosen the thumb screws, slide the glass panel to the rear and tilt it sideways to remove it. Okay, so you just slide it. Okay, I'm gonna read how to do this. So it says slide. I have done this. This is a, this is a, this is a magic stuff, guys. Loosen the two, I did that, one, one, okay. Those are both loose. And it says it just comes off, oh, wow, okay. Well, I was grabbing the wrong part. Okay, there we go. All right, got it. Okay, there is that one. Okay, so we got that undone. So you can remove the rear door. So you can just lift up on it. Okay, so this one we remove the screw, remove this. And then this comes off. Okay, there's that. You're watching and learning with me. Okay, and then now, apparently, oh, okay, there's a screw right here. There's a screw at the top. So I'm gonna show you the top down view here. There's a screw up here at the top. Ugh, right there. No, nope. oh, let me zoom out a little bit. Hold on, where's my, oh, there it is. Okay. Zooming out. Okay, so there's a screw right here that we got to remove to be able to remove the back panel here. So that's what we're gonna do now. I wanna be able to see it okay. It's not I can't open a case, it's just that I, I don't, I wanna be careful with a new case. Sometimes I'm, it, uh, this, is, this is to show that people, even people build as much as I do, can still like learn, you know what I mean? And not every case is the same. Let's not shame people. That's not very kind. We're kind. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this could be for, this is definitely for fill port for an extra loop. It looks like this comes off too. Okay, so this comes up, right? There we go. Okay, that, that's how you remove the back panel. So now we got the back panel off. Okay, now this, apparently this back door According to this, the back door just slides off. Optionally remove the back door by sliding it upwards and then in the open position. So you can, oh yeah, that just pops off. Okay, cool. So it does exactly what they said in the instructions. And then there, there goes the back door. Okay, so there's a side. So you can just slide this up and then you can just pop this off. It looks like you can keep this off if you want to. Okay, so we got a lot of this case deconstructed now. Trying to see what else there, the other external panels we can remove here. So you can remove the DRGB cover. Okay, so you can remove this apparently. Oh, oh, that just slides off like that, okay. So if we want to start getting into other crazy stuff, you can. Okay, and then this is how you do EATX. So you don't have to do that. Okay, so this is all the radiator fan stuff and fan insulation. Okay, everything else in here looks like Nothing else. This has got a lot. Guys, there's a lot to this, this case. Okay. Hey, right, well, there we go. That's like the stripped version of this case. You can, if we wanted to, just to make it easier, you can remove, where is that screw? There's a screw thing somewhere. So you can actually get to this too. 
So this just pops out. Yeah, there you go. So that takes that off. And that's just a, that's pretty cool. So what this is, is it just basically has an RGB component to it. So it just pops right off. So you can basically remove that. It's just to make room around the case and make it easier to get around, which is kind of cool. Okay, so there's that. And then I want to see, there was another one. It says, remove the screw at the right side of the chassis. Oh, right here. Okay, and then there's a screw in the back here. Let's remove this in the back. So there's a screw down here, and then that allows you to remove this. There you go. And so now you can get to all your grommets and stuff and then cover that up later. Okay, so there's all of the removed side. There's gotta be a way to get to this too. Cause this is where you put in there your fan. So I'm gonna see how to remove this back fan part. So there's your motherboard. PSU. Oh, this one just comes out of the front. Okay, so you can just screw it down. Okay, so there's a fan. Okay, so if you want to get to this to install fans, you just remove this. Okay, there we go. And then now I can just pull this down. There you go. Okay, so that's how you that's how you do fan installation. Okay. And then the other thing that people want to know is you can actually make this flat down here. So you can make the bottom flat if you want to. And then let's see how you do that. Oh, okay, there it is. So one, remove the bottom bracket, release the bracket, remove the screw, install the fan radiator, and then you can actually go from there. So there's a back, there's a back part here. Okay, and you can get a regular screwdriver in here. So I'm gonna go to the side here. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, there, that, ow. Just like shooting stuff at myself. That's always good. Okay, and then now I can remove this bottom bracket. There we go. And then basically, if you wanna make this flat, you turn it around. So what you do is you turn it around and then you put it back in. And then now it'll be, now it's basically not flat, now it's a, uh, the other direction. So then you can put it, now it's now it's just flat. See, and then now you have a flat bottom if you wanna just have the air go the straight way. So like I said, you can have it facing so it has some air direction or you can have it this way so it's just flat. So, okay, so that's the whole case, all kind of torn apart. On the back side here, you also have this panel you can remove so you can get to your motherboard and you have this panel right here that you can remove for just hiding all your cables. So there's like all sorts of cable hiding places as well. Guys, this is actually pretty crazy. This case is pretty bonkers. So lots of, lots of stuff kind of show off there. And then we also have here all this cable routing. Let's see what cables we get here. So you've got channel A and channel B so that's for your RGB. So you got channel A and channel B SATA. And then for overall cabling, it's actually not that much, guys. You've got a you've got a USB 3.2, a USB uh, regular HD audio, USB C, and then you've got your front panel connections. And then for up here, you've actually got a um, Fantex hub. So you have a Fantex RGB hop up here, so all the so all your Fantex stuff can plug into this. And then this is probably, the question is where's the cable to hook this up? Oh, you can't, oh, I guess you just control RGB via, oh, so it just goes through the front panel. Yeah, so not a lot to hook up into this. So you actually can, I can do more RGB fans here. And there's probably something here for hub connection for RGB. Let me look at that real quick. <clears throat> yep, 
Yeah, it uses a yeah, it doesn't use the standard five volt, but I think there is a connecting. Okay, here it is. Connecting power button. Connect USB Type C HD audio. I'm looking specifically for um, RGB. Okay, so you have a chance. So top. So this goes to a PSU. Right, and so then down here at the bottom here, so this is your channel A, your channel B, and then down here at the bottom, you can actually connect a connection that'll allow you to control it via your motherboard. So that was what I was looking for. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think I know everything about this case. And then I'm assuming that the all those extra accessories are inside. Yep, here they are. So you've got a cover, there's your inside your accessories, you've actually got uh, the cable that allows you to plug it into the motherboard or we get in this case we'll just use the fan ones because we can just push the button so you get some zip ties which is cool these are covers for actually I think for I think these will actually allow you to block air and the top and the bottom here is what these are for uh, and then you've got there's your HD this is if you want to control stuff via your motherboard uh, for your RGB and then you still also get your amazing Fantex screw box, which is all silver. I wanna look this up real quick just to see if these are what these are for, because we are gonna use one of them. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that will be one. So I'm just gonna look it up. And that's just to keep the pressure situation good. Airflow covers, yep, these are airflow covers. So what these allow you to do if you don't have, like if you are only gonna put three fans, which is what we're gonna do on the side, you can actually pop these up like this, and then now it allow you to block one of the airflow. So now you can only put three fans in, and then you're still not losing airflow, which is actually pretty cool. So glad they thought of that too. Okay, guys, that's the case. I think at this point in time we can actually start building in it. Oh, replica gaming, you're absolutely right. There never is. Uh, this is bigger than an 011. This is a big case, guys. Big case. Yeah, lots of options, right? So we're just getting familiar with it, so I appreciate your patience. We're just getting familiar with it, we're excited. Hey, Casido, thank you very much for the uh, for the sub, man. 20 months. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start putting it together now. What do you guys say? I like how, it's actually very simple in terms of what they did, and then if you're gonna use their D7, their D7 fans, which is what we're gonna use, it's gonna make this way easier, so. Because their D their their D thirties are daisy chain, so it's gonna make this pretty fun. All right, let's get the motherboard in. I you know what? That's a good question. How much is the casing? Somebody let, let me know. Uh, it, we have a link for it. Uh, it's two hundred twenty dollars. There you go. Okay, let's get the motherboard in, and then once we get the motherboard in, we'll start putting all our fans in. Lots of fans, guys. Ugh. Okay, so we got plenty of room for all our motherboard stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this in. Reason you can, you're gonna see very clearly why I chose this particular motherboard for this build. There we go. And remember, we still have an RGB bar that's gonna go over this. So this will be covered like here. So that'll be actually up there. And then this will also be covered. So should look very, very clean. I have I have reverse I have reverse and regular, uh, um, org. I have three I have six reverse and six regular. Yeah, so we're gonna put so for airflow, we'll do reverse reverse, and then we'll do intake intake. Yeah, I don't know what's yeah it's it's I think it's I think it's just yeah hold on let me change the view here. Why is it? Oh, come on, autofocus. Don't do that anymore. I got it fixed. I got it fixed. You guys are noticing everything. I want this build, this one to be, yeah, the camera wants to dance. We're, 
trying to make sure this build goes beautiful perfect so you guys have been you guys have been really excited about this again i apologize that i was not able to stream on tuesday we went 140 millimeter in the front wow Yeah, it was channeling house music. It was like, I'm going to dance with the song. Like, wrong day to start that there, crazy. This is a big case, so I got to, like, walk around it and stuff. Just, be, just to make sure that we can get to everything. I'm hoping that the channeling, like the the overall channeling, channeling and cable manager, there's a lot of places to hide cables here. So I'm hoping this ends up being really easy. Even from a cable management standpoint. So we're seeing lots of new today, which means Roby's gonna be a little bit slower in the building process because he's he's learning as well, just like everybody else is. Oh, Fierce, I appreciate that, man. Guys, go and hit, go over to, if you're really enjoying this content, head over to the YouTube channel and drop, uh, head over to YouTube, uh, hit that thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you very much, Riddick, for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate you, my friend. Okay, there we go, guys. All of that screwed in. All right, let me, let's go ahead and hook up our main cables real quick and just get those done. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. I mean, there's like just enough room for like all your cables, so it's like so much of this stuff is just going to be hidden. So it's going to look really nice, I think. <sighs> okay, let's go to side camera for this because I think it's just going to be easier to do it this way. Okay, here we go. So first one, which is gonna look really good, because I love, that's one of the things I really love about these boards, guys, is that um, these boards just have side, they're on the side here. So you can actually just go like this. I wish the cable, this, like, I wish the cable for the, for this was white, you know? There you go. And the best thing about this is this will be hidden under that bar. So you will not actually even see that cable. Okay, so here's that one. Okay, let's grab our USB-C now. USB-C! I don't know why it's so loud, but that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that's the song for USB-C. Do you guys like my USB-C song? What's up, Larry? How are you? Okay, so we got that in now. Okay, next up, guys, HD audio. So you can undo this little bit down here. Let's bring this up a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm trying to give you guys the, the clearest views. Clear views all day here on Robitech. Okay, so I undid the back here and then this just pops up. This is gonna go right here. So it's almost as good as hiding it. You could, yeah, it's almost as good as hiding it behind the motherboard. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any cable management yet, but this has got some great cable protection stuff in it too. Like lots of places to just basically hide cables. It's actually pretty crazy, all the stuff that they give you to kind of do this. Okay, so there we go. All of our cables, that's all the cables we have. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and install our fans. So we're gonna do our first one, we're gonna do our first intake fans. We're gonna do intake, intake, and then like I said, exhaust, exhaust. So we'll do our first intake fans here. These are gonna be reverse. 
Reverse, right? Yes, reverse. No, they're gonna be normal, my bad. They're gonna be not reversed. Okay, so first ones we're gonna do is we're gonna do our first daisy chains of the new fans. Okay, let's go to side view, static. Get this out of the way. <clears throat> is it much lighter when you have all the parts off? Not really. It's a hefty case. Oh yeah. Okay, right, let's take a look at these fans. These are the new D30s. Guys, we're four subs away from that $50 new A gift card. Here we go. So we'll go to the side camera here because it's like pointed perfectly. Okay, so I heard, Kevin taught me a trick. What? Okay, what is that? Okay. So what you do is you take your, where is my, okay. Take this. Keep you from ripping the package. There we go. Okay, so these are the regular fans. And you're gonna see these these things are thick. Like they're they're big, big fans. So we're gonna open all these up and kind of see how this works here. Okay, there's all our fans. Okay, so there's our three fans. And then inside here is our cables and stuff like that. Hey, Sergeant Nobody, five gifted subs. Thank you very much, that's 51 guys. Okay, next, next tier is unlocked. So we're gonna go to all widgets, sub goal, subscriber goal. Okay, so we're on our way to a $100 new gift card. There we go. Okay, next goal's up, guys. Thank you, Sergeant Nobody. Okay, so inside of here, this is how you actually do all your daisy chaining. Wow, this is like quite the, uh... wow, okay. Here we go, let's figure this out. We got lots of clips. So this is your signal, it says signal corner. I don't know what signal, signal input corner. I wonder why they put that on here. That's weird. Okay, so the way this works, it's just so you guys know, is you clip these in, so you put these together like so. And they, like I said, they do daisy chain together. They're a little bit more complicated than, than your other fans. And then your other daisy chain fans. Like they're not like the Lee and Lees that, or the, or the, or the thermal take where you can just go. So you put this together like so, and then you take the clips and then the clips clip it together. Okay, so that's how they're daisy chained. And then you put on the other side, oops. And then on the other side, you got these just plain clips and those go on the other side. And then just like that, then they're daisy chain. So pretty cool. And then what they give you to hide the tops is you basically put these over it and then it just makes them look like a single unit. So it's actually more like Lego than what you're probably used to. Okay, so we're gonna do one more right here. Get rid of whatever the signal corner thing is. We're gonna grab our last attachment here. Here we go. Clip one more on this side. Okay. And then you're gonna take these. That covers that. Like this. Then you have even half cover ones. So you can like cover the, so it just makes it look all nice and white. Which is actually pretty cool. And 
There we go. Just one more. Okay, so there you go. Now you've got your all daisy chained, and then these are your cables. And then this goes on your signal cord or corner. I'm assuming. I don't know if there's a specific way. And you get two of them for a pack of three. So it's a little bit interesting. I think when I, oh, let me look at how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this like, probably like this. So these are gonna go right in here in the middle like this. So I'm only gonna do three here. Okay. I probably want them on this side, okay. The click, now just to figure out, oh, that's already on, okay. And that's all there is, okay, so there you go. So there is our fully set daisy chain fans and they look all nice and white and all that sort of stuff, right? Which is actually pretty neat, pretty cool. That's actually really neat. So there you go. There is a daisy chained Fantex set of cable, set of, set of fans. And then the question is, is like, did they make this? So this should be the perfect length and it's not, which is weird. You'd think, you know, given that this is a Fantex case that, okay, we'll figure that out here in a minute. Okay, so now we got these. What we're gonna do now is install this in here. There we go. Top down. Okay, and so we got our now we got our rear fans. And it's cool they gave you a little zip tie for the for every I mean a baggie for everything. So hey Mello, thank you very much. 12 months, dude. That's huge. Congratulations on a year. You guys finding the stream? Uh, you guys finding the stream useful? I'm trying to give you guys the full, the full meal deal here. You guys are learning with me. Oh, weird. Okay, let me fix that. There we go. Why is this the wrong sub goal? Oh, hold on. Oh no, hold on. And then we've gotten one, so we're at 52, hold on. There we go, fixed. All right, fixed. Okay, let's get these in. Little bit harder for screwing this stuff in. Yeah, that was like, that was like, it was getting a little crazy. So these are like tough screws. I'm not gonna put more than four in because I don't need to. Okay, so there's those three fans. All right, cool. So there's that prepped. We do have peels, peel, peel. Okay, fans are peeled. Okay, now, I wonder if these are, so you can cover it, you can actually cover the corners too if you wanted to. 
So you actually have corn, you can like make this thing look like a full unit. So you can even have like the corners covered. Wow, the, cutter, the corners are like the hardest part. There's some secret to how this works, guys, but uh, if there is, I don't know what it is. Okay, so it's supposed to go, you're supposed to go from the bottom, okay. I see now. Learn with me, ladies and gentlemen. Wor learn with me. I think that's right. Are you learning with me? There we go. We're gonna make this look beautiful. Make sure it looks good. There we go. That one went, went very, very nicely. So yeah, it's all about starting at the bottom, at the back. Not like that. That would be the opposite of what they want you to do. Oh, come on. This fan is like not quite there. I know this is optional guys, but I want this to you do it all right. You gotta do it all right. Maybe this one'll work better. It's like this is like not quite lined up or something. It's like it doesn't want to let it. Oh, annoying. Yeah, it's like some it's like this this one isn't quite lined up like the like almost like there's a flaw in the the fan. Okay. That one works that way. But it's like this one's not quite it's got a different lip or something in it. That's annoying. Okay, well, can't get that one on. All right, cool. Let's just, fine. Let's keep going. We don't have infinite amounts of time here. Okay, we got, we're gonna put these away and get all this stuff in. Just gotta make sure you don't lose all the plastic pieces. There's a lot of plastic pieces you can lose in this build. Just gotta be careful. All right, cool. Okay, that's done. First set of fans. Now we're gonna take our magnets here. Cool, it does, it fits just right. All right, cool. So we've got that blocked. We can put this into the build. First set of fans. And luckily, the best thing about it, you only need You only need one one cable, one set of cables. So we'll run this right here.
pull this through. There we go. First fa first cables in, first fan in. this in so we got three now you can do four 120s I just didn't get didn't send me enough uh, fans so I'm just blocking airflow you can't even see the fan I mean look at this like you can't even see the uh, you can't even see it and then what we then what we have right here in the back, bring up the side thing here. In the case is you can actually very easily just take this. And this just goes into one of these. So you actually have, should be able to have enough RGB connections for all of our fans, which is cool. There we go. And then even if you need to daisy chain one more off of that, you can. And then we've got one fan. It would be nice if they had a fan hub, but that's a, that's a small problem because again, we're only gonna have three fans. So I'm just gonna run these. Pop this down. So go right here. And again, there we go. Okay, so that's all hooked up. One set of fans in. Let's do our next set. Those are regular fans. So regular fans means, gosh darn it, my mind. So that means I'm actually pulling air out right now. This is, these are not in, these are in, guys, those, I put the fans in wrong. These are not the right fans. I want regular fans for here and, yes. My mind is not working. I want reverse fans here. Well, that was a lot of time. Anybody else catch that? Man, oh, shoot. Well, that takes care of that. Okay, well, crud. These are going to go on the AIO just like this, right? Yes, yes, I am right. So these are going to, these are going to be used on the AIO. So I can still keep these apart. Okay, so I want reverse fans here and I want reverse fans on the bottom. Can you, uh, are you able to unscrew? Yes, there's two screws that hold it in. You can, you can unscrew it and move. It looks like, yes, you can unscrew it. Okay, so we'll just keep these together for later. That's for the AIO and let's grab our reverse fans. So the, the, this is a little bit harder, guys, because you actually have to be, you have to pay attention to which direction the, um, which direction the fans are like pulling air specifically. So it's a little bit more of a cognitive load versus uh, what I'm used to. Uh, 
Okay, so these are the right fans now. And these fans are actually reversed, so they would be in the back, but they're intake fans. Oh. No, I'm not. I just literally had a mind fart, that's all. Mind fart! Just had a mind fart, guys. Which is unfortunate because I thought I was actually in really good shape there for a second. And I wasn't. Angled are better for intake. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, but we're not gonna do angled in the back anyway, because the, the bottom one will be intake, but uh, I'm not doing the bottom ones right now, I'm doing these. Okay, so let's get these right. There we go. Okay. Luckily, now that I've shown you the process, I'm just gonna do this relatively quickly just to get these put together. Here we go. Let's get these. Okay, so we're gonna go to top down. We'll move this out of the way. You guys can see what I'm doing. So I'll show you from a different angle. What you need is these. These are what actually cause the, these are actually what daisy chain the fans together. go. We'll use these on the other side. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, cover up our covers. It's not as bad when you, when you, like now I don't have, like I'm just gonna do it quickly so it's just done. There we go. Now we're just gonna do these. Okay, and then last one, just need our signal cable. So that's about how long it takes if you just do it quickly. And then like I said, start from the back. There we go, okay. There we go, and then peel, 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 okay. Okay, set's done. What would be the best under a PC when wanting to place on the floor? Uh, I use a plastic, like a plastic, 
They have these like little, uh, they're like workout mats. Uh, they're plastic and it basically just makes it almost like a wood floor. That would be ideal because you're not gonna pull any extra dust up. That's what I like. Okay guys, that one's in. We actually have the right fans in. I'm going more, more fast, more bueno, more rapido right now. His quick build, I haven't seen his quick build, no. But Stuart's freaking, Stuart's freaking, freaking amazing. So that doesn't surprise me. I know everybody had to do quick builds in these cases because they just were waiting forever for the actual cases to come in. Okay guys, now we have it right. All right, cool. Back where we were. Now at the right, but we have two fan groups put together, so that's fine. So, it's okay. Yeah, wood pallet's fine. Yeah, that's a totally fine option. Okay, D30s, first, for second, second set done. Okay, now let's get these, let's get this back in. I'm glad I caught it before I did the build and was like, why are the temps terrible? Because you have all your fan backwards, you, you nom, you nub. Okay. Oh, shoot. You guys, I'm on fire today. It's an easy fix, but I put the uh, installation in the wrong direction. I want the uh, fan thing on the other side. <clears throat> the fans are white. I don't know, did we do zip tie pred prediction? By the way, uh, GSX Therapy, Jord882, Mellow Hoopy, and uh, Top Q. Thank you very much for the subs, guys. So I need this to be this direction. New case alert for sure, guys. I literally just did this on the other one, okay. It's like the same, it's the same problem I had on the other one. It's like, there's like, well, wow, guys, there's something about this particular corner. This is the same place where I had the other issue. It's like it's like this it's like the tooling or something is just weird or what I 
It's just like, is it like that too much long or what? It's like every single one of these has like not, doesn't have an arm, a problem except for that one. Yeah, it's just this, this particular corner. And it's on both of these, on both of these hubs, on both of these things. It's just like, but it works on the other corner. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it off. So something just unique. Okay. Right. Oh, there's peels on the back too. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. All right, cool. Peels on the back. Go round and round, round and round, round and round. Okay, sorry about that. We got it right now for the fifth time. I promise I'm not just trying to make this really long. I'm actually trying to get through this build. Apparently it want, doesn't want me to get through this build. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, fifth time's a charm. Oh yeah. Oh, we got almost all of, all of these. Luckily, the fans are con are not complicated to hook up, so. All right, here we go. Let's do this again. Now we have it the right direction. We have the airflow going the right way. Now we got that right. Finally got some fans in. That was a lot of work, guys. A lot of work, but it's done. Brutal. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there we go. Fans are in. Everything's in. See what we got here. Everything there looks good. Now, let's put in our, we need our other normal fans. Not reversed, we want uh, normal fans. Okay. These, we're gonna put our exhaust in. We only need two of these though. For this one.
I love fans. I just am. I was. I'm having a struggle day, guys. Struggle day. Not every day can be perfect, and today is definitely one of my struggle days. I feel like I'm just like foggy or something. It's weird, but we'll get it. We'll get the build done. We'll get everything done. So this one I'm gonna want. So this one I'm gonna want this way. So if I do this, I want this in the corner here, okay? Eat a Snickers? I don't think it's that problem. It's not, a, I'm not hungry. No, it's not hungry. I'm just, yeah, I feel, I feel weird. Okay, let's go to top down. Get this out of the way here. Uh, uh, didn't see, because the camera will focus on the wrong thing. Okay, we just need one of these. All right, there's that, this side. All right, cool. So that's that. We're gonna put this on this side. So let's see, does this one work? No, that one worked, okay, that was weird. Okay, there's that. Getting our fans ready. And these plastic pieces you do not have to put on there are actually completely optional. I just want to give it like the cleanest looking look if possible, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing. You do not have to do this. The stuff that I'm adding is completely optional. So if you decide not to add it, it's no harm, no foul. There we go. And there, now we have like a very solid looking set of fans. It does, it feels, Ryan R, it does. It feels a lot like a Lego set. That's exactly right. It's ex that's exactly what I was thinking too as I'm building this. I'm like, man, it just feels like Lego uh, in like the good, in the best way. I want you to kind of figure it out or like putting together like a GoBot or a Transformer with all like the extra pieces that used to come with like Transformers and stuff like that. So it, it is definitely an interesting feeling. Uh, it doesn't feel like putting together fans, you know? Okay. Okay, that's done. That set of fans is done. Let's get these onto the build. Ugh. Ugh. Side view here. Okay. Looks like the best place to actually have this go in is right here. Oh no, no, maybe not right there. Cause that's gonna that's gonna go to the art that's gonna go to the board. Okay, so I'm gonna try and figure out the best place to put these fans. So you need them to you need a place for these fans to run. It's like it wants you to go through the board. That's interesting. So it'd go through here. And then I guess through here. So it goes up and across. Interesting. Okay. A little bit of a unique situation just because of the case, but we'll do that then. This is going to run right here.
Okay, so the question I have now, oh, I gotta remove this little bracket here. So we got a little bracket in the back here. I don't know. I got to actually take out my, uh, my screws. pack of screws here. Black Dragon, thank you for the resub. You guys enjoying the build? It's quite the build, right? Very, very uh, unique. It's always the thing about new builds is they just take some time to kind of work around the case, which is good. Yeah, I think it's interesting, right? Like it doesn't, it's one of the things I really get to enjoy about uh, being like being the kind of content creator I am is that it gives me a chance to kind of play with all the new cases and stuff, which not everybody gets the chance to do. You know, you'll like see these other streamers who are like, they're more like SIs, and they don't get to get cases as early as those of us who also do YouTube and stuff like that. So it makes it more fun, and you guys get some unique content versus just watching the same like Lee and Lee or Height Y60 or Height Y40 build over and over again, you know? So you guys get to see the the case is built in live first and ask your questions, you know? See, so what, if you decide to do the same thing, you've got the same experience and you guys are kind of getting it from the, from the beginning. Okay, so now that you have this, this is what I was talking about. You actually have to run this through the actual side here, like this. I'll just daisy chain this together. And this is your exhaust fan. So we'll go to stat, we'll go to, so that, that takes care of this. So that's like in and run and we'll zip tie that. So then you have a cable back here and then you just basically screw this back on. And again, I think this is just to protect you from sticking your fingers in there. Because if without that cover, you'd basically just be like Brr. We'll run this. Actually, we'll run this right here. Because it'll be hidden. So, sorry. What I'll do is I'll try and run this underneath here. Try and keep it so you can't see it. Nope, that's not gonna work, okay. That'll still be fine. Okay, right, cool. So what I did, is I ran the exhaust to right over here. Because again, I, I wanna make sure AIO pump and those things are opened up. I don't necessarily need them for a, um, for a Corsair one, but if you would, if you did, you can go from there. So, okay, so we got that installed now. So there's our exhaust fans and then our, our intake fans. We got one more set of intake fans to install and then all of our fans will be put together, guys. Now somebody said, and I'll trust them, that somebody said that the best version for this is actually to do it angled for intake. So we'll go ahead and do it angled. We'll do the angled version for this. So then I want them like this. Okay, so that's the angled version. Let's grab our last three reverse fans. <clears throat> How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Hope you guys are enjoying the content. 
It's a little bit of a, a wily day, but we're getting through it. Oh. Oh, okay, next set of fans. Last ones, guys. There we go. And there we go. Okay, there's all our fans. Perfect. Let's do our peels. There we go. Signal corner. Oh, got one more on the other side. Okay. So we got three peels per fan. Here we go. go okay so there's our corners everything's ready okay so our fans are all built now ready for the next part uh, Mawa asking what's my initial reaction uh, I know exactly what he went through because I got hacked too my hack happened earlier this year. It did not take me as long to recover it. I got, I, I w actually got onto it a lot faster than what happened with Dynas, but, and mine happened a different way, but yeah, it sucks. Because it's, uh, it's scary, because it's like your life's work, basically, uh, oh, that's why this isn't working. Your life's work is like literally in, like falling, like you think is falling apart right in front of your eyes. Uh, so yeah, uh, my initial reaction is I'm really glad he got it done. I also love that he shared that it happened and what they had, like what YouTube also has to do to make it better. Cause there's a lot of small content creators who, uh, are like, who have had issues where their stuff is basically vanished and because they aren't big enough, it just, uh, it never, they never got it back. So, so in a lot of ways, I think the hackers did themselves a disservice by, uh, doing Linus because I think li by doing what they did with Linus, in some ways they almost made it harder, made it harder for this sort of thing to happen again in the future. Okay, so I'm gonna put this signal one in the bottom corner. So yeah. Oh, what's up guys? Welcome from coming out. Jaffa is dropping in his sub. Thank you very much. Wait, really, Drafaz? That's awesome. That's amazing, dude. Congratulations. Can we get some hype for Drafaz? Oh, and by the way, somebody did bring something to my attention that I completely forgot about. Happy Moderator Appreciation Day. Happy Moderator Appreciation Day. We will, uh, as a thank you to our moderators, and this is for the mods, uh, we will be sending, uh, we'll be sending out uh, $25 New A gift cards uh, at the end of the month. But today's Moderator Appreciation Day, and so we'll be sending all the mods uh, $25 New A gift cards as a thank you for being awesome, so awesome for our community. This is the other one that's doing the same problem. Thank you for being you, guys. You guys put up with some weird stuff sometimes, some weird people, so hopefully that works. This that corner is like not good. We'll have to see if that works. Man, this is like, this is like a real issue. I don't understand what there's like. It's like a manufacturing flaw or what? It's a 
annoying. Yes. <laughs> so uh, we love them. They're amazing. They do great work for us. They they put up with all my 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 schedule changes and all that stuff. They're awesome. I really appreciate them. I do. This is why you don't want to, to do the bearing peels. Oh, it's fine. These are not these are not, these are going to get used 100 times anyway. So but yes, if you were, if I was gonna do this, I would do the peels afterwards, but. I'm hoping that works, like that's my concern. You are right though, it would be smarter to not do your peels until you're done, but. Where is my, there it is. Uh, I don't even, well, the funny thing is, is that because the AC, the Strix card has already been used, there's not gonna be even a lot of that, right? Cause they're already peeled. So I think we've already, uh, it would just be the number of peels for the Fantex cable, the Fantex fans. There we go. There we go. Okay guys, last fans are finally done. Which is awesome. Gotta get these plugged in and then the AIO fans are actually pretty close to ready already. So, already, already. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that is done. Okay, guys, we're next, we're ready. This will be all the fans, and they didn't actually take that long. It took a little bit of time, but that was because I had to get used to the whole reverse thing, but now they're right. now it's all right. Okay. That belongs to something. Okay. Here we go. Let's go to side here. Okay. Now there's a little box over here. Hoping works the way I need it to. Well, that's hard to get to. Okay, now we're just gonna run this underneath here to maximum cable heightage. Trying to do this with like. Oh man. All right, let's get this one in. Okay, one more to get in here. It's like a pretty small rubber grommet, but it's like just the right size. So I like that they give you these really great options for hiding all your cables. There we 
do not make it easy to pull cables through it though. Wow. Wow, this cable is like twisted in like the worst way. No, that was possible. Okay. Now let's get this in. Okay, so we've angled it like you guys said we should do. And we got that cable there. There we go. Maximum angleage. Okay. Get this in. Okay, guys. There's all of our fans. Now you could, like I said, you could do 4120s in the back if you wanted to, just for fun, which would, which could be cool. Um, uh, uh, but they, I did not get enough uh, fans from uh, the, guy, the folks at Fantech, so I apologize. There's that one. And this one's gonna go out here too. Okay. There we go, okay. So, now our fans are in. Let's do some quick cable management. Is this hooked up? This is not hooked up, okay. Okay, let's do some quick cable management. We have to do, we have to go relatively fast today because we have a, we have a activation at eight, so, which is in like 30 minutes. Oh right, yeah, let's go to top down. Grab our cable ties real quick. So for this, big old case, lots of places to store. Looks like PSU goes in the top. Ooh, I do not know if a shift is gonna work for this. I don't think a shift is gonna work for this because the cables, I think we're gonna have to do a re we're gonna have to do a regular PSU. Now that I'm looking at this. I don't think we're gonna be able to do a shift. Uh, I agree, I mean, given everything else that they work so hard to have white in this case though, um, uh, org, I would think that they would be, I, I think I would think it would be white as well. I was actually, now that I've kind of seen it and like had been working on it, I'm like really surprised that it's not white. one you'd think you, I I would like I would I would have hoped that it also would have been it also would have been white oh shoot oh crud okay that is not gonna be able to go that long so we're gonna have to do a little bit more a little bit longer there okay What I'm just trying to do here is have a something that looks nice coming out of this block. It's not doesn't necessarily have to look nice underneath the block. For the sake of the build, we just want it to look clean when it's all when it's all open, but underneath I can hide some cables.
go. Done. Okay, and then what we're gonna do here, these are gonna go up here, so I'm not worried about these. These are gonna these are gonna get plugged into the SATA. And like I said, this will get hidden by that, not worried about it. Shoot, this has got to stay. It's not staying all that well. Okay, let's get the top part here. Takes it to un unrelease this. Again, only thing I'm just trying to do is clean up our clean up how this looks from the from the front, because a lot of this is going to get covered, obviously, and it's not I have to be relatively quick, guys, because we got to play Star Trek today. Starting around eight ish, so. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's just get this cleaned up. For now, let's cut all these. See it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Last part is just to clean up the sides here and then we'll basically have all of our stuff done. But I think I'm gonna have to switch, I think I'm gonna have to switch PSUs guys, for sure. Which I think this might be the first case that I've ever, I mean, I don't see how the shift is gonna work in this case. This might be the first case I've found that the shift doesn't work. This is brand new. This case has only been out. For, this case has only been out for like a day. It came out yesterday or Tuesday. So it's only been out for two days. Yes, yeah, so that's this is this is uh, for most people. No, I don't think. I mean, I think the only people that's probably maybe built in it multiple times might be people at Fantex, but that'd be about it. I'm using Fantex D30s. They're brand new as well. And I'm using reverse, so they're like the, the new RGB T30s. Um, so they're brand new fans from Fantex. Okay, there we go. Okay, cable management, initial cable management is done. Those are gonna be for that. So it looks nice and clean right now. Okay, right, now what we can do so we can do our AIO and get our AIO installed. And then once the AIO is in, then um, we'll be able to, we'll be able to finish out the build.
and this is all gonna get covered, so I'm not worried about it. So yeah, this is how the build looks thus far. And remember, this actually has a, this actually covers this. So this will actually be covered. Whoops. Like this. So you won't be able to see a lot of this. This will actually be I think it goes, yeah, so this goes, this goes over this. Oh yeah, there it is, it goes like this, okay. Yeah, like that. So that way you will not see, you will not see the other cables that are coming out and then we'll cut, we'll have, we'll still have the white one. Actually, let's go ahead and put that in now and then we'll we'll basically have our, our Asia horse cables in. So let's throw those in right now. Let me put in our other bits. Yeah, this is all about hiding as much of the build as humanly possible. So like as many cables are hidden by the actual uh, case as you can, I mean by the, the case as it can. It's actually pretty neat. So it should look, it should look really good. I think the one thing that would also be cool is you could very easily put a screen up here, you know, up here in this uh, as well. So it, that should look really nice as well. What's up, Ghost Poner? Yeah, you could do four fans. If you took that off, you could actually have four 120 millimeters. If you wanted to. And then there still be the RGB bar. I'll go up here too. Just gotta make sure that that fits. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna go on top of that. Okay, I just wanna make sure it still fit with the. There we go. <clears throat> In terms of making sure you can see what you're gonna see. Yeah, I know, the, 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 the tall part, this part up here, like just having all the empty there is actually kind of, I don't know if that's like the part that I'm questionable on the aesthetic of, like just having so much of that room at the top. I don't know, I'd love to see, what do you guys think in terms of, do you like having that big open space up there? I know some brands like CLX has got like a CLX up there. You could put a big Roby Tech. Uh, so SWA, Thermaltake actually has uh, those as well. Ugly. Yeah, you, it's, it's like you wanna put something there, you know? A screen there could be really cool. Finding like the perfect right size screen there or an option for that over the PSU because the PSU is gonna be right there. Um, and it'd be easy to hide the, P the cables for that underneath the P behind the PSU. Yeah, an LCD screen would I think be the best thing with like display information and stuff like that. I kind of feel like that's what, I feel like Fantex is releasing that for their, um, for their Shift XT case, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you're gonna see a similar thing for this case, an optional accessory for 
a screen up at the top. That really wouldn't surprise me. It does allow for some neat customization things. Potentially, you know. Could be an option as well. Okay, so now it comes the hard part where I gotta get this on. Okay, so that takes care of that. How high is all those cables? I'll just screw this back on. What's wrong? On the 6700 XT, the very first one, in the benchmark, if you try to transition to the person that you brought to the store and running around, it crashes. No matter what you do. 1080p, fine. Interesting. 1440p, crashes every time. When it's borderless, full screen. Well, I guess at this point in time, gosh, it's like that cuts all the like that cuts us down to like five benchmarks. Because then we only have five, right? And I have no idea what store for me when I get to 4K. Right. Hey, I'll see if just just. Skip, the, I'll see if I can find it for that one. Just skip it for the, try it on the next one and if it doesn't work, I'll see if I can find another source for that information. But yeah, uh, just just skip it on the 67 and then try it on the next one. If it doesn't work, then just let me know which ones it doesn't show up on, okay? <clears throat> okay, so there's that build. And now all those are done. So our, our extensions are in. Now we just gotta put in our AIO. Okay, how's that look, guys? How's it looking? It looks pretty clean. I think that looks pretty clean. Let me get this a little bit straighter there. Hide that cable. That's looking really nice. Now we still have, once we get the, once we get the AIO in, then we'll put in that other RGB bar and then you won't see that either. And so there's not a whole lot you can see with the build. You know what I mean? That's pretty dang clean. We're, we're gonna have to see where the, uh, I think we're gonna have to see where we're gonna run the uh, 16 pin extension. That's actually a good question. Let me see where that would run now. And run it while we can. Do we have room at the bottom? 
because this cable's got it. This cable's pretty long, but it's not that long. So I feel like here is going to be your best bet. It's good. We're just going to figure out where to run this now. So that way all of our cables are run. I don't know if it will go here. That might be fine. That actually probably looks like the best place. Okay, so that's run and ready for the next part. Here we go. This is our 16 pin cable for our GPU. I feel like that's the best place for that. And we should have enough, we should have enough K, v, uh, VGA cable to run this. So that should be fine. Okay, so we got all of our extensions run. Now all we gotta do guys is put in our AIO and then we'll put in our GPU and PSU and we're done. Okay, AIO time, AIAIO. Ugh. It's looking pretty dang clean, guys. I gotta, I gotta admit, as it's coming together, it's pretty dang clean. And luckily for this, this is actually a lot easier to kind of hook up because all we, we don't have a lot of the extra stuff. Don't need that. And on his farm, he had a A-I-A-I-O, A-I-A-I-O. Yeah, it's getting close, Ryan. It's getting close. Cables, I gotta. A I A I O, and on his farm he had a thing. I am trying to learn code, but I keep watching. That's yeah, that happens sometimes. Too distracting. Okay. This one is gonna have, this is gonna have long cables. So I'm just gonna see what the best looking option here is. This has got a really long cable. So if I did this, it would be better. Oh shoot, better to do. Okay. Let's 
big old fans. And should This, this, these, these, this, like this little snap thing is like wants to do its best. I hope that's right. That's actually attached. We'll find out. Okay. Let's see if it's attached. We'll find out what's actually going on here. And I'm using the radiator screws from the fans themselves. Don't use the ones for the AIO because if you use those, they are not long enough. So just as an FYI. because they're all daisy chained. There we go. Uh, my, I am 5'11". I'm 5'11". Why do you say my hands are like a basketball player? That is a, that's a first for me. Never heard, that, never heard that before. That's a new one. You have the hands of a basketball player. Oh, shoot. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I know what I forgot to take out. The screws for the, uh, for the actual radiator mount. That is what I'm missing. Need the screws for the radiator mount, guys. Let's grab those. Get our radiator up here. One sixty-eight to two fifty, guys. Over four hundred plus people here right now. You guys, we could definitely have enough people to get those likes. Oh, it's over here. I actually, did have them out. I was wrong. All right. All right. Let's get these up. Side, okay, now. Okay, now, you just gotta be careful. Oh, shoot.
Oh man. Okay, just trying to get this. There you go. Okay, cool. It's in now. Okay, we're almost there, guys. AIO mounts actually pretty fast. Should look good when we're done. Crud, really? Okay, there we go. Put that in the center. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that we're lined up. You want, you definitely want the fans to be lined up between the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna make sure they are. Okay, let's loosen this a little bit. Okay, there we go, that's even. Whoa. Okay, now the fans are lined up. Get this installed. Do you know if the Origin 70 has a muck switch? Also, what's the TDP on the GPU? They don't mention anything on their website. Uh, I don't, it does not have a muck switch. I do know that. Um, you're in if you're tight because again the muck switches it's uh it basically just switches between discrete and, and normal but it does not have a muck switch like so like what's on asus laptops and if you want to know what the tdp is for the gpu you can actually look it up uh, on nvidia's website because it's listed there You can just look up mobile because it's a, it's it's the same for all the mobiles. You're welcome. For gaming, for for the Evo ones, it's whatever the max is. You're right, but the other thing too is it depends on it depends on the the SKU. But the ones that that Origin puts in, I, I know for a fact that Origin uses the the stock one. So it'll give you at least an idea. The Evo 15s, you, why not do the Eon 15s, the 4070 Ti one? Just out of curiosity. And then I did, I did some stuff with the, uh, I showed in the last bill, uh, in, in a, in a video I just put on, uh, Instagram, what the, uh, the 17 can do. The 4090 mobile is like crazy. Just FYI. CPU fan. I 
like very impressed with the mobile versions of NVIDIA GPUs, so far anyway. I have, a, I have the uh, Eon 16S downstairs. It was actually supposed to be a stream and we we're supposed to do a world premiere for it. But unfortunately, uh, there was a, they weren't able to get the, the, to me in time. Most expensive build I've ever done is $35,000. Yeah, that was the most expensive build. We did it live. Uh, it was water cooled and uh, yeah, we did, we actually did that one live. Okay. It was a it was a media it was a it was a media it was a media server but it was basically for um, basically uh, multiple streams. So it was like six, you could do like 16 streams. It had a custom built card and custom built water block. Um, it had like I don't remember, it was some ridiculous amount of eight terabyte rocket NVMe drives at the time. You guys, it's up on the, it's up on the street. You can watch it, the YouTube video is still live. We had a ton of people watch that. That was actually pretty fun. We did it at, actually at Intel's, uh, Intel's boot, uh, Intel's uh, studio. You want to go see it? No, they still use it. It's the it's the basically the system that runs all of their it's the system that runs all of their streams. So no, it's it's not useless. It still gets used. It gets used. They used it at PAX. They use it at uh, they use it all the time. So so not true. was not useless and is not useless still oh ye of little faith okay that is ready it's uh it was a live stream it was a while ago. It was a while ago, but it's it's up there and it's on Roby Tech Live, just so you know. So on this channel. How we doing likes on YouTube, by the way? Um, I don't rem I don't remember. I think I don't remember. I think it was a thread ripper. 183. Come on, guys, let's get those last 70 likes. We, uh, Shaggy, we are making, we are doing a hybrid GPU stream. There's a commission uh, for a hybrid GPU build. So yes, that is coming. So don't you worry your pretty little head. It's coming. Okay, time to get this installed. go okay let's grab our wow stick finish this
Okay, AIO is almost installed. Let's throw that right there. Okay, guys. And the last bit here. I was like, what is going on? Oh, that's just one cable was stuck. All right, let's do one zip tie to hide this little small cable. That'll, that'll basically, I mean, we can make it look like the actual part of the, there we go. And then the rest will actually get hidden by that RGB bar. All right, let's grab our RGB bar. There we go. Now it's all hidden and can't even see that that's there. Pretty cool. Yeah, you do. There is a lot of taking it apart and putting it back together, but it's honestly, it's like it's actually kind of cool because everything is about minimizing cable management and what you can see from the build. So I'm actually kind of okay with what I've had to take apart and put together as I've been doing this, you know? Okay, plugging in our USB. And luckily this board actually has three of them. Hey, th thanks Kachelu. I wish the Z790 version of this board had three. It's unique to the B650 version. Okay. Okay guys, only things we have left now are RGB, or, or sorry, our GPU and PSU. Everything else is actually already done. I've been kind of cable managing as we go, so which has made this easy.
Okay. Okay, how's our build look from the front? Gonna make sure our stuff looks clean. Okay, that looks good. Everything's routed for the RG, or everything's routed for the PSU. Okay, I will turn this around so you guys can see what the what the build looks like from the back so far. And then all we have left is GPU and PSU. Oh, there it is. There's the build as it looks so far in the back. Oh, there's zip ties for sure used, yeah. Oh yeah, there's zip ties being used. Okay, so I'm not sure the shift is gonna work. So, cause I feel like the shift is, it's, it's, I'm not gonna have room at the top with how the PSU hits to actually use the shift cables. So I'm gonna go grab a different PSU um, for this build. Why don't we use the Fantex Amp 1000, which is white? That seems like a better call. And we'll use a Fantex PSU. Okay, let's get our PSU out. 54 likes, guys, we can do it. It's a nice white PSU to match, I think, now. Okay. Okay, here we go. So here, let's go ahead and put our PSU together. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our CPU. Then we need not that one, not that one. We do we need one of these? Let's see if we have one that has more connections though. There you go, that should be enough. One SATA. There we go. There's that, okay, there's that one. Put cables I don't need away. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, we'll, we'll need MOBO. No, the PSU is 1,000 watts, which I don't need, which is plenty for a 4080 and a 7900. Okay. 
Okay, let's grab... Let's need three of these. There we go. That's all we need for this. Oh, thanks you very much. You got any grapes? I appreciate it. That's amazing. Thank you very much for the kind words. Feel a little bit slow today, so we had a little bit of we had some hiccups with building this build, but we're getting there. Oh man. Ugh. But we're almost done. It does take time. And no matter what, guys, stick around. We have two hours of stream afterwards. So no matter what, we got two hours. I got, I got Star Trek for two hours today. So stick around. I'm, I'm going to need, we're going to be playing some Star Trek after this for a couple hours. Um, did they give me a, well, I probably got some in here. Uh, fierce bombshell. I don't. I don't have any issue with it. Again, cases. I. We're, we're gonna. We've done multiple builds that actually require cases to get painted. I have no issue with cases getting painted. It just comes. You just got to make sure that you get them painted right and and well. Because a bad paint job can look really bad. So that's kind of my two cents. But a good paint job, if done well and with the right paint, can look good and last a very long time. Yeah, this would definitely not work with the shift. Shoot. Here we go. Just need to make sure that this has enough. Okay. Okay, one more screw. And then we'll just plug in our PSU stuff. Okay, guys, that is. The PSU, I like the white cables. I think the white cables are gonna make this look nice. Also, we'll be able to zip tie most of these things like pretty closely. Let's grab, let's start with this though. These are all our, just kind of hide everything up here in the corner here. Oh, sorry, let's go to side, my bad. There we go, let's go to side so you guys can actually see. I thought you were in the right, I'm glad I looked. Great view of my back. Apologies. Okay, hooking up our power cables here. that one takes care of that little issue okay there's that okay let's go to CPU okay we're gonna get this one cleaned up here And all, guys, all we'll have after this is just our GPU. So this is like, I just figured since I'm already back here, might as well just finish this. There we 
go. Okay, PSU time. There we go. There we go, right here. Okay, now for the last connections for the whole build is just these PSUs. Sorry, these GPU cables. Last PSU cable. There we go. Fortunately, this is not going to be the cleanest build I've ever done, but sometimes you do have other obligations, and so. Sorry, I apologize. The build will still look phenomenal, but not my cleanest work on the back here, guys. Okay, build done in the back. Okay, I'm not gonna cover it yet because I still gotta make sure that the one cable is correct. It still is like it all it still fits very well back there. Okay, let us now put this on its back and put in our GPU. How's that look? Looks nice and clean. That was a very pretty build, guys. Oh, is that me? Oh, there you go. I was like, that doesn't look like it's all the way aligned. Okay, there it is. Now it's aligned. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, there's that. Oh, and then you actually do have a place, so we'll have to see if I need to use it, to put in a sag bracket for your GPU. So we'll have to see if we actually need one. It might work with the, the ROG one that you have, but we'll have to see. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Not sure if you can hook that hub up with the JST cable to another hub to the motherboard. Uh, you can, you, RGB's down at the bottom, but I'm, I'm gonna just use the buttons that are on the, the motherboard, but I could, with this motherboard, there's RGB down at the bottom. It's not up at the top, it's down at the bottom. Hey, Melek, thank you very much for the sub, guys. It's gonna be, ooh, you know what? We could do a Mother's Day one. That's May, right? Yeah, May would be a good one. I was like, I just, uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to use, we're gonna have to use the, we're definitely gonna have to use the, so let me put that in real quick. Let me put this out. We're gonna need the sag bracket. And then I need to switch the direction of the freaking. Switch the direction of the cable. Oh, you can do it. Oh, you can do a lift that way or a lift the other way. I like this here. So this would go like this. It's interesting because it feels like this is, I'm trying to see. Yeah. Okay, sag bracket, where are you? Oh, I see, okay, so you actually have to use both. So this is so This goes on here how this goes on here because it doesn't feel like that's the right direction but they shouldn't have shown this with the O. Oh. does it go through does it go on the other side no because that, that that can't work 
Oh, I see. Oh, it goes right there. Okay. Okay, guys, it's just trying to get the snack, the sag bracket in because you're definitely going to need a sag bracket for this card. This card weighs way too much to not have a sag bracket. It's unfortunate that it's gonna cover part of the, the games thing, but I think I'd rather have that than a saggy GPU. And you do not need to remove the, uh, the good thing is you do not need to remove the Okay, there's that. You do not need to remove the... Ah, oh, shoot. I just gotta rotate. Oh my gosh, this case is now very heavy. I gotta rotate the direction of this cable. Side view. I had a 50-50 chance for which direction I put this in and I chose wrong. which is always my luck, right? Okay, now where are my cable combs? Okay, guys, we actually are done. Why is it so twisted? Okay, we actually have a completed build. Okay, yay. And, oh, I need to put huh, some screws in. And there it is, guys. Build is done. All right, let's turn it around.
one sec, guys. Fix one issue in the back here. Come on. Okay. All right, now we should be able to just put this on. Okay, it's in. Oh. Okay, there we go, guys. Build is done. All the stuff is in. Let's get this turned on. I will count how many zip ties in just a second. We are getting there. Okay, and there is the build completely finished. Let's see how the is it sagging at all or anything like that. Let's have it go up. Is the build like, does it look like it's sagging? No, that looks good. No, everything looks good, guys. Holy moly. That build is sick, dude. It's like super clean. Okay. Um, we'll leave the back off because that's going to be hard to put on. Put the top on for now. Okay, let's count how many zip ties and then we'll get started with the, let's see what we got here. Oh. Plug it in. So you can actually run all your cables down and then through like this. using the side vote view here so we can like do it the way that they want us to do it. Now, where is our, okay, let's grab this. Trying like all the different sizes. Side view. Just 
So you can't have a you can't have an HDMI cable that's too big. No, nope, that, that goes in there too. Okay, so there you go. There's a side view. As you can see, what happened here? Which cable, which camera went away? That was weird. Why did the side stop? Hold on. Weird. Okay, well, not sure what happened there, but anyway, we got all the cables in, including, so we could put the side door on and actually just use the side door here. I think I have to put, take the top off here. So we're gonna use it with the, I don't know why the sides stopped working. It's been working this whole time and then all of a sudden it just stopped. So there you go, even the back. I've even got all the cables, oops, all the cables in. Then actually have them sealed away here, like they want you to with the side. Okay, there's the build. Now, zip tie count. Let's do the zip tie count, because I know people are interested. They want to know how many zip ties got used. That was a big case. There's a big, it looks like it has like a big forehead, you know? Okay, zip ties, we got them right here. I don't know why the side camera stopped working. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five. 15. 15 ca cable ties. That is a small amount than what I normally do. 15, guys. 15. That is it. Odd. Okay, let's go to mood mode. Check something real quick. One second. It's going to make there something just. There we go. Okay, side camera's working again. All right, let's go to mood mode, and here we go, guys. Will it post? That's the question. YouTube guys, got target practice. Nijia, thank you very much for the subs. Guys, can we get some hype for getting this build done? This was a, this is a build that fought me. Uh, let's go ahead and give it, well, yeah. We're, let's go ahead and do the uh, prediction real quick. Will it post? While we're doing that, I'm just gonna do some last minute adjustments here. It looks clean. Get your prediction in, guys. Will it post? Okay, prediction's just about done. And don't forget guys, one, you have two more streams, this stream and the next one. 
For your last chance to win that, that PC, yes, it has the newest BIOS. So your last chance to, the last couple days to get in on that PC giveaway. So if you want to get in on that PC giveaway for the St. Patrick's Day PC that we built, uh, $2,000 uh, PC, that is also up for grabs. Okay, you guys ready? Looks like prediction's up. Okay, here we go. Open it up. Turn on our power. And where is it? Okay, here it is. That's not good. Guys, I don't actually think I hooked up the front panel connector. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. Did I? Hold on one sec. I don't actually think I hooked up the front panel connector. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, see? Now, this is what I was worried about. See, I think some of these fan connectors... So, I think some of these fan connectors are not connected correctly. Because these fans down here are not spinning. And what I'm worried about is like, you have to have them like in certain spots. So I'm wondering if because the fans not, the fan has to be in a certain, like the connector may have to be in a certain location or it's like not straight because, so it only works one way. So this is just like, again, I'm not sure. It looks good, but these are not, like I got half the fans working and half the fans not. So I'm gonna try something in the bottom real quick. By the way, guys, it does post. I don't know why you don't see it. Oh, it's, it, it is posted. So it does post, so it did post. Okay, so there is the post right there. So it is posted. I'm gonna see something real quick. Let's see if we can fix this issue with the fans. gonna try and figure out what there's there's a, there must be a trick to these must be a trick to these fans that I'm not doing I'm trying to see if I can figure it out real quick Try and give this some more room. Hold on.
So in other words, is it only a certain direction that you can put these on? No, that doesn't seem to be doing it. Oh, hold on. Well, the fan, well, not even the fan is spinning. The fans aren't even spinning for this, so it's almost like this thing isn't getting signal. Oh, there, okay, so that worked. Okay, so it's definitely, there's something that you have to, like it has to be in a certain way. Okay, but can I do it on the other side? Yeah, so they only go, they can only go in one way. That's interesting, okay. Which is kind of unfortunate, because you're like, well, I don't want it, I want it to be more than one way. So it's like if that's like is then if I like want to hide the cable, but they can only go this way. So, but I have to so I have to like hide it and run it like down. Is that what they're saying? Hold on one sec, guys. I'm gonna try and fix this so that way all the cables work. I don't know if I have enough cable for this to work the way that they want to do this. Like, it's like. It's like they, they have to be a certain direction. Interesting. So you absolutely have to do it from the right side, the right side. Or it doesn't work. That's crazy. It's, it's like crazy that you have to do that because it's like for me to do this correctly, have to route this a completely different way like it has to go out the side and then we still have this one that has the same problem like this one oh I don't, I don't even know I can't even get to this like it has to be the top one like for this to work Connect this. Wow. So like everything about this, like I'm sorry, and just just to give you guys some what I'm thinking about here is I'm trying to oh I forgot disconnected. I forgot to plug in our power our, our front panel connector, which I don't even know how I missed that. Oh, it's right here. Okay.
These ca like these fans have very specific ways. They have to be hooked up. Okay. And so this cable has to be in a certain place. which is like why they label it, but it's just like, ugh, that's painful. Because if you don't do it right. If you don't do it right, then, oh well, yeah. You're dealing with what I'm dealing with right now. And if you, if you remove those stickers, it makes it like a hundred times worse, right? Because now you remove those stickers. Then you can't even like. Of course I unplugged the wrong. Okay. At this point, guys, I'm just trying to get it to be lit up correctly. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. 228, guys, come on, give me some love for... You guys always like it when I don't give up on these things, and so... Show me some love, get me some hype. Make me feel that this is something that you guys appreciate. You guys always say you do. later. So this has got to go here. Okay, so we got that one fixed. Okay, I got that one fixed, I think. Guess we'll find out. We're gonna make this all light up correctly, guys. Oh, shoot, okay. I'm gonna remove this out anyway. Okay, let's do 
Let's grab. So I'm going to basically get this off. Sounds like this. I wish I had Q latch. What is a stupid? Okay, I'm gonna get the GPU out. GPU is out. There we go. Okay. Now Shoot. Guys, this is like going so well, let me tell you. This is, this is like, this is like the worst case scenario right now because like, let me just check. Oops. Why is this not, can I even plug it? No. Okay, so I got those on. Okay, so now I have all I have all the fans except for one set. And this one needs next level to get this one, guys. Because in order to get to this fan set, you have to get this you have to get this out. And the only way to get it out is to go through the front. And the only way to go through the front is to take off the radiator. This is like next level to fix all this stuff. Oh my gosh, where is the... Where's the stupid... Is it, where is my, oh there it is. <clears throat> And I can't unclip them. I gotta see a final version, you know?
There we go, guys. Okay, let's move this up. See if that works, makes it better. I don't know if it will, we'll find out. Your guess right now is as good as mine. This is like brutal, brutal guys, brutal. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to test these because this is like, this, this, this connection on this fan group is like questionable. So we're gonna test to see if this actually fixes our issue. Gonna make sure this fan's not hitting anything. Oh, geez, that's just like really not a good place for this to be. I just feel like it's not. Oh, shoot. Well, that sounded good. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, shoot. Actually, like, snap, snapped. Okay, let's see if this at least fixes it because that's like the most important thing and then we'll go from there. Okay. Oh, shoot. This isn't even daisy chain anymore. One of the daisy chain things came off. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what we're just trying to try and see, let's go to static. See if this, this is supposed to be up here. Yeah. 
This is the issue, man. So it does belong up here. So it does fix it, but you have to get the... I cannot for the life of me. There you go. Hey, okay, got it. Okay, so now all the fans work. Okay, let's get our one thing fixed. Come on. One of the little chunks broke off and now it's jammed in the holder. I'm just trying to get that out. There you go. Okay. All right. Let's fix it. That's fixed. No, not the chunk. Yes, this, this, the chunk. This whole thing has been a, it's been a test of patience, but we're getting it done. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, guys. I think we're gonna, I think this is gonna fix it. I think we've actually almost got this now. Oh shoot.
Okay. Never give up, never surrender, guys. Okay, we did it. Oh, shoot. Guys, it's so close at this point. There we go. Okay.
I will finish this build. I will finish this build. It will be accomplished. There we go. Okay, guys, I think, I think we've done it. I think we have. I think we've got everything fixed. All the fans should spin. All the lights should light. All the dreams should dream. We are ready. Here we go. Here it is, guys. And there it, oh, I forget to plug in the fans. I did, I forgot to plug in the fans. Eh. One minor thing. These fans are quiet, I will say that. One more cable to plug in. One more cable to plug in. I forgot to plug in. Can I do it while it's on? That's the question. I put it down there. I forgot to plug it in. Okay, I got... Ooh, ooh. Well, I am going to shut it off because I'm going to kill myself. It's shutting down. And then I will connect this last cable and it will be done. Now I have the opposite problem. I know that lovely light, I could see everything, but now I can't see everything. I'm not giving up. The last cable, guys. The last one. And it's freaking hard to plug in. It's times like this that you guys say stuff like, you know, I was talking about football hands. Like right now I need like carny, carny hands. I think it would have been faster at this point in time to potentially remove the GPU. Come on, the last cable, come on, that's the last one. Oh, dang it, it looks like it. There we go, okay. No, no, it's not plugged in. That was, and it's not. <clears throat> ah. <sighs> I 
I cannot get to it. I'm just going to do the right thing and remove this stupid GPU again. Okay. Okay, now it's plugged in. One more. Whew. Okay, now. Now I should have I should have done a uh, I should have done a prediction on that last one. Okay, now guys, it is all plugged in. Everything is ready. I believe the build is actually gonna all spin this time. So it would help if I turn this the right way. Okay, guys. It's back on one more time. Put the screw in one more time. Start the music one more time. And then I think we got it. Do we actually have it is the question. It's going to happen today. It's going to happen today. That's my song, guys. Okay, here we go. Last, third times, 15th times, 16th times a charge. Oh, 17th times a charge. Never give up, never surrender. Okay. Okay, guys, now let's push the stupid button. Yeah, there's a bit of saggage there. What? There is no sag, guy. There's no sag. I mean, I can lift it up a little bit. Hold on. <clears throat> That's easy to fix, though. Okay, I lifted it. Ugh. All right. Oh, well, let me fix those, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, there it is. All lit up. Look at that. 
All spinning, all lit up, all that sort of stuff. And then we do have Well, well, why is, oh, because that, that's not a tap. Wait. Oh, I see. I know why. I can change that. Oh, I like that. Ooh, wow. I like that one. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Now, there are two RGB channels, so I'm going to fix one thing. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'll put it on two, but let's, let's actually fix that one. One more time in the back. There we go. Okay, right, guys, there we go. We got to get some hype for that. I fought, I did, I, I didn't quit. I did this build until it was done, until this build was ready. I did not let it conquer me. I waited until it was finished. I kept going. Like, it is, we could do a hype train something. Come on, you guys. This was like a, this was a fight. This was a fight. And we got it. We got it done. There you go, there's an all white one right there. They have a lot of... Wow, lots of colors here. Lots of stuff to kind of play with here for this build, you know what I mean? I think that locks it. Oh, I see, that's channel one, that's channel two, okay. Okay, channel two. The green and purple is like cool, the Joker one. That's pretty neat. Like there's just lots of really fun colors and stuff to go through there. You can like do it half and half, which is actually kind of neat. I like the half blue, half purple. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah, the, 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 they just have some really neat, really neat options. Okay, fan config for people who wanted to know uh, uh, we have intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust. So that's what our total fan, that's what our setup is for fans, etc. Let's do a peel, guys. And then we'll run a, we'll run a thermal just to see how it does. Let's do a peel. Back it up here. All right, here's the side camera. <laughs> I 
Oh shoot. It's like, it's like. There we go. Okay, here we go. Boom, there we go. There is the build. How's it look? Yeah, screen up at the top would actually look really, really cool. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna get a... Get a, get a... And the, again, the, there's cable management for each one of these for all these cape for all your like stuff which is actually kind of cool so i'm using the cable management in the back Okay, so there is our build. The question is, how does it perform? So let's, uh, I'm just gonna check our fan curve real quick. So let's go and jump into capture. Let's open up cam. Check our fan curve real quick. Uh, cooling. We're gonna put everything on performance. Oops, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, now you guys should be able to see everything. Oh, okay, there it goes, okay. Oh, I have to activate. Okay, sorry. Okay, so everything's set to personal uh, performance. Okay, there we go. We're good with all of our stuff. Okay, so let's open up Cyber uh, uh, Cinebench. Then let's do open up Hardware Info Monitor. Okay, so there is our Ryzen 9 is sitting at package temp of 44, which is pretty normal for a 7900X. Uh, everything looks good. 10 minutes, let's see how this does. These are D30s, so let's see how this does. Let's see what it basically hits.
It's not that loud. That's pretty impressive. It's not that loud. It's keeping it nice and cool. You guys always think 95 point what? What's the issue? Yeah, I can hear them. They're just not as loud as I expected them to be given their size. What's the question? Blunt, he's asking me to check something. Sorry. Oh, they're not counting. Oh, okay. Looks like the subs aren't counting. Okay, look, I can see what the count is. Hold on. So we're at 67. Hold on. Okay, that should fix now. Hopefully that fixes it. There we go, guys. Did we get near, are we near a, are we near a, a hype train? I'd love to get a hype train given how hard it works on the stupid build. Can we get hype train, guys? Man, we got all sorts of freaking requests too. Holy crud. And we got 250 likes on YouTube. Reddit giving five gifted subs. Wow, the subs are really still not counting. What Riddick doing there? Dad joke, we got a poll. I don't know what to do about a poll. Stretch and hydrate. Okay, I'll do a stretch and hydrate. Uh, guys, don't worry. The, even though they're not counting there, they are, I don't know why they're not counting, but they are counting in the larger thing. So one more and then we get a hype train. And then we'll unlock the, yeah. So I just hydrated, and then we'll do a stretch. So we've hydrated, hydrate, and now we'll do a stretch. Stretch. Ah, there we go. And temps are still at 88, which is remember this one likes to go to 95. You guys were fighting me on that last time, but it keeps going. One more, and then we get a hydrate, a hydrate, guys. There it is. Hype train started, and we got a dad joke. Okay, dad joke's the last thing. Stretch higher than the case. Ugh. Um, okay, dad joke, dad joke. Dad joke. Oh man, I heard a really fun one actually. Oh man, I forgot it. Okay, I like this one. Okay, I love my job. Lately, colleagues have been writing names on the food in the office fridge. I'm currently eating a yogurt named Susan. How cute. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, what is a skeleton's favorite form of measurement? Graveyards. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, why do programmers defer to dock mode? Oh, because light attract bugs. I like that one too. That's a good one too. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, we're, let's get to level five. Let's finish this out with a level five hype train. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, build, uh, build temperatures are good. 88 under load. The fans are loud, but they're not as loud as I expected given that they're D30s. Um, the T30s seem louder, but I mean, again, under load. If I put it on quiet, I'm curious. If I put it on quiet, Hey, thank you very much for the five gifted subs, guys. Uh, pretzy for cheesy. There we are, guys. Let's see if we can keep going. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to see what temps are like if we were to run. I'm going to see what temps are like if we ran um, everything at, at uh, silent. Well, it still is going to be the late, same. It's just going to, never mind. It's still going to run at max. 
Uh, we're gonna keep that at performance. Okay, so, I mean, if we, like again, it's all configured to CPU temp. So it should still ramp, but again, this is what, I mean, silent you can't even hear. So let's, let's do something, let's just check. Um, let's just run a game and just see what this fan sound like on a game. So let's run up Steam. Let's see what Steam does when we run a game. Because I want to see how quiet, how quiet these fans are. Hey, come on, guys. Level four. We can do it. Let's, let's do it out. Come on. Let's get, level, let's get to level five. Let's finish this out the way that we... Let's, let's finish this out with the, with the happiness. Why does this keep going away from here? Finish it out with happiness. Run after birth. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, hold on, what, real quick. Let me do here. This is actually a. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go in there and let's see what temperatures and fan could found sounds like when you're going in there. So there we go. <clears throat> so, so far I can hear him a little bit. Temperatures are at 70. It's definitely ramping up. Come on guys, two minutes and 20 seconds. We can make it happen. Let's make it happen. Come on, let's get it. Let's help me get a level five. Let's end it on a, this was a difficult build stream, guys. Come on. Yeah, the GPU temp is definitely opposite of fire. You're right. We can do it. Thank you very much, Pritzi. Vicar of Mayhem dropping 500 bits. There we are on the way to level five. We can get it. We just got to finish this last little bit. And then we get the level five. And we're so, guys, we're only, we're only like, what? Riddick dropping 10 more guys. So we're only, what, 23 subs away from, 23 subs away from uh, unlocking a hundred arm new egg gift card. Oh, we're mo less than that, sorry. We're not, we're more than that. Let me look at where we are because uh, this sub goal thing stopped working. Uh, we are eight subs, eight subs away uh, from unlocking a $100 new A gift card. Okay, here we go. Let's skip. Let's look at, okay, we're gonna go to settings. So we're gonna go to graphics. We'll go to quality, go to basic. Apply, we'll use, no, we'll use DLSS. We'll do balanced, because we're at 1440p. Display, 1440, unlimited, okay. Okay, so we're back. Okay, here we go. Let's go to Modern Warfare. Let's just see what temperatures get to. Man, that RTX, geez, that temp is great. You're right, good call. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. One game. Eight subs, guys. We're eight subs away from unlocking a $100 new A gift card. Let's see what we can do. And we're like two subs away from unlocking level five. And we hit YouTube already. Okay, 230 frames per second. Again, temperatures in the 50s. I can't even hear, look, I'm, I'm getting you close to the fans. It's very quiet.
There's level five with uh, Grim Tasha getting that in there. So guys, we are six subs away, but you guys definitely have unlocked a, uh, you def definitely unlocked a $50 annuity gift card. There it is, guys. Hey, okay, so temps, I mean, like, loudness when under load, not bad. Sitting in the 50s when gaming, that's pretty dang good. And it's 262 frames per second for, uh, for that. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, Patrizzi, for Sheezy. Thank you very much. And don't forget, guys, all of these get you in towards that game giveaway. Guys, this looks so sick. You're, you're absolutely right. The only thing this needs right here is like a LED, uh, like an LED screen, like right there. That this is that like the uh, the amount of ha headroom you have above the case is like the only is just right here. But outside of that, it looks really good. And these fans look so clean. You have to say, like it just it looks so clean with all the fans and everything like that. Hey, A9, thank you very much for this the sub. I'm gonna try something real quick. Let me see if I can. It was this one okay I think that is that so you guys can see the light you guys can see the the fan colors a little bit better there you go now you can see the fan colors a little bit better and then now if I play with them You can see the colors a lot better now. That That's my favorite. I really like the purple and the green right there. And then you can make it, like especially with a little bit of the, the, the motion. It's a lot of really nice colors. Yeah, the fans are really, really nice. And then they have like static colors, so you can just go purple, pink, blue, red. I like that, that looks nice. There's like a dark blue. Then you got your rainbow. And they have a bunch of different rainbow colors. So like a bunch of like nice cycle colors. Ooh, that green is sexy. Well, I like that blue too. Then you can slow it down. And then that's like a split blue. That's really pretty too. So yeah, a lot of fun with the build in terms of what you can actually accomplish. What do you guys think? Yeah, we only get it yet. It was skewed, but I fixed it. Yeah, I think it came out really, really good. Okay, so let's be clear. Let's just can we give can we give Roby can we give Roby a little props because he did not quit. He did not quit. Uh, he I I fought I fought. I got all the fans set up. We got all the colors done. We got everything. So like this is one of those things. It just took a lot of time. I learned a lot about these fans. You guys went on the journey with me and we still got it done. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just one of those things that it's just what is, hopefully I don't get in trouble because we're gonna, I think what we're gonna have to do guys is we're gonna have to add a stream tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to do a stream tomorrow night because I'm supposed to play Star Trek for two hours and well, hold on for one second. Well, hold on for one second guys. I'll be right, right back.
I am back one second. Let me uh, let me see if anybody on my my agency is here. I just got to ask a question because I could technically run it and still good and it's fine. So we're going to find out. I just got to talk to I got to talk to my team. update this okay so what's gonna happen guys is I'm gonna go ahead and try it and then uh, it's it we're, we'll do the giveaways not a big deal we'll do the giveaways and all that sort of stuff but what yeah you can do all sorts of fun stuff in there um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over because I am going to play some Star Trek fleet command um, if you don't know what that is it is a uh, like a it was a mobile game um, that came out a while ago um, and then now it's playable on PC um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to put the tweet it now. Now you do not have to stick around. You, I would love it too. I would love you. We'll, we'll do some giveaways and stuff like that for it, um, for sure. But let's uh, let's do this. Let's see who retweeted this. Let me retweet it. So I gotta. Oh, Mosa Martinez. Okay, good. I'm gonna redo this and. Uh, and we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna go, I'm going for it. Cause I wanna get this done. I wanna, I, I don't wanna bail on something. So hold on. And uh, so we're gonna be going till midnight. And if you guys wanna hang out, you can, I would love to. We'll do some giveaways as a, as a thank you for hanging out. Um, but let's go ahead and do the first giveaway, which is the $100 New Aid gift card. So we're going to do that giveaway right now for those who are getting ready to bail out. Okay, so CloudBot, uh, giveaways, custom. Okay, let's, uh, so exclamation point. Uh, let's do exclamation point, don't quit. Uh, do not quit. That's what it is. Exclamation point, do not quit. $100 new A gift card on the line. Exclamation point, do not quit. Go on now. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to download the game. Exclamation point, do not quit. Oh, that's not the right one. Okay, so while we're doing that and you guys are doing the do not quit.
Taking a look at the timer. Oh, we have, the timer's up. Oh, congratulations to Kasaba Toth. Kasaba Toth, you are the winner of the gift card. Congratulations. Okay, let me get this set up. So we're installing it now. And I think you guys can play with me. I think you guys can play with me. So if you guys want to play, you can. Uh, it would be cool if people want to play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm starting from scratch. So yeah, you should, you should come join me. Okay, let me uh, bring up the let me bring up the cheat sheet so I can set everything and go from there. This build, by the way, this build is overkill for this. I don't know if anybody plays this game. Here we go, guys. I think I've got it set up. Oh, I gotta change the game we're playing. Okay, here we go. I think I got it set up. Let's get this all going here. Bring it up over here. Let's get my I'm playing on this ridiculously overkill PC, ridiculously overkill PC uh, for this game. And I'm actually, and uh, it should be fun. And I am gonna say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube, thank you very much for hanging out. We will see you on the next episode, which is going to be on Saturday. We're gonna be checking out a 4080 laptop, sorry, a, a 4000 series laptop and some other fun stuff. So uh, you're gonna wanna turn into that. So. Uh, see you guys later. See you later, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to keep you around, Facebook, just because.